Chapter 26 Killing Ilford, Gaikia Collection Advertisement Multiple Shadow Clone Techniques 20 shadow clones surrounded Xiao Long and the others, the same expressions, the cold eyes, and the sharp snake-shaped long sword made Xiao Long feel uneasy in his heart like never before. Who on earth is he, why does he have this kind of power, does Jillian really have this kind of ability? All kinds of doubts were pressed in his heart, Xiao Long's face began to turn blue, he felt that he seemed, underestimated the strength of Uchiha Madara. Huh, it's just a phantom. This kind of buggy trick is useless in front of Riot Su. Xiao Long stabilized his emotions, and accompanied by a roar, the majestic Riot Su gushed out of his body. This Riot Su is almost comparable to a Jitches. I recognize your strength. In front of the imposing riot suit, Uchiha Madara not only didn't panic at all, but became even more excited. The blood is boiling and the fighting spirit is burning. Only by fighting the strong can Uchiha Madara's fighting spirit be awakened. Advertisement It's just that Xiao Long and their expressions are completely different. To them, Uchiha Madara's excitement is, it's humiliation. Ha! It seems we are underestimated. Ilford City Mansion is the deepest, he did not show the slightest anger, but a touch of sorrow emerged from the corner of his mouth. Smile, endless chill blooms in that smile. Reverberate. Almost without any signs, Ilford's figure disappeared before Madara's eyes. It's just that this raid was useless. With two Tomo Sherry non, Uchiha Madara easily caught him. Lightning style, go. Uchiha Madara made a decisive decision, and the thunder and lightning released by both hands continued to spread across the earth. His surroundings turned into a field of electrostatic force, which happened to be where Ilbert appeared the next moment. God predicts. How could it be, he actually caught me completely. Ilbert was shocked, his feet had been entangled by lightning and paralyzed, unable to move. More importantly, when Ilvert looked at Uchiha Madara's eyes, he felt a death-like fear. Goosebumps and cold hair stand upright, and the cold sweat has wetted his back. That two Tomo Sherry non seemed to contain endless magic power, which made people unable to help themselves psychologically defeated. Advertisement Powerless, fearful, fearful the pair of blood-filled pupils looked even more eerie and terrifying under the shining of the cold moon. As a void that grew up in a pile of corpses in a sea of blood, Ilvert would feel powerless to resist because of fear. How could this be possible? Except say Alaporo, no one can give me this feeling. No one can humiliate me, no one can override me, go to death. As an arrogant person, Ilvert could no longer remain calm, the long-squeezed anger erupted like an ordinary volcano, out of control, he finally relaxed his vigilance to kill Uchiha Madara. However, this seemingly dominant behavior is what Uchiha Madara wants to see most, because this stupid impulse is full of flaws. Does it ring, I will too, and faster than you. As soon as the voice fell, Uchiha Madara's figure had appeared in Ilbert's skill, and the sharp snake-shaped spear penetrated his body mercilessly. Puff! The blood was splashing, and the icy blood was flying, embellishing a touch of coldness for this silent night. As I said, your actions are full of flaws. Will and strength can't be compared. There is no anger but no corresponding strength. Such a person is not only worthy of growing up as a reckless man. Fire style, big flame bomb. A hot flame bomb was spit out from Uchiha Madara's mouth, bombarded the wound and then exploded. Advertisement Wow! Ilbert let out a tragic wailing, his flesh and blood was burned by flames, the feeling was as good as death, and even Ryatsu was burned out. Damn, I must kill you, I must kill you myself. It seems that after exhausting the last bit of strength, Ilft waved his claws and wanted to die with Uchiha Madara. Endless anger and killing intent made Ilvert even burst out of tenacious will at the last moment of his life. I seem to have said that your behavior is just superfluous. Without much words, 
just waving the blade lightly, Ilbert's arm was chopped off shoulder to shoulder. What? There was regret and self-blame in this wailing, and Ilbert eventually fell. Since all this happened between the fire and light stones, when the three of Xiao Long reacted, they could only see a fallen corpse. You, you actually killed Ilbert. For a time, angry killing intent enveloped the night sky. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 27 Waco Mundo is not an abyss, but a ladder. Advertisement P.S. Gaikyu Sum Collections, Flowers, Evaluation Votes, Thank you very much. You actually killed Ilbert. The incredible roar broke the silence of the night. I have to say that all this happened too suddenly, and Ilbert fell between the flare stones. Xiao Long looked at Ilbert's body and took a deep breath. Even though he is an emotional imaginary, he still knows the word partner. They can evolve to the intermediate Minos Grande, and have gone through countless years, cherishing each other, until the moment their dreams are shattered. But Uchiha Madara killed everything with his own hands, and Ilbert fell. What does it mean? The bond between the partners was cut off. It is not only Ilbert's life that has passed away, but the belief that has always been adhered to, the belief that has evolved into a jichis together. The fetters disappear, which means that winter is coming. The icy moonlight was as pale as the face of a dead person, and a crazy idea was brewing rapidly in this barren land. You killed Ilbert. Advertisement. Just a few words, but it contains endless anger. Only when a person is angered to ultimate, will he make such a terrifying sound. So what? Make no mistake, this is not a fact that can be changed by doubt. I don't think you have realized that this is a game between hunters and prey. The ending is either to survive or die, and nothing else. Choose. Uchiha Madara is as calm as ever, he has adapted to the Hueco Mundo forest law, and he can face even the most cruel despair. Hueco Mundo is not an abyss, Hueco Mundo is not a desperate situation, Hueco Mundo is a ladder. Many imaginary attempts to climb up but failed, and never had a chance to turn over again, because they have fallen and died, turning into Ryatsu in others. Some virtual books have the opportunity to climb up, but they still fail. In this hunting game, once the footsteps stagnate, the chance to hunt will be lost forever. Climbing is all about Hueco Mundo only if the latter really exists. Do you know? You have already made a huge mistake in your actions just now. Xiao Long took a deep breath and tried his best to restrain the violent mentality. Really? The mistakes I have made in my life are beyond your imagination, but this is not one of them. Uchiha Madara's mouth turned into an arc of sarcasm. For the love of his heart, he was willing to bear the curse and confront the entire ninja world, just for the eternal dream that he pursued in his heart. Advertisement Compared to everything ninja did, killing Ilford was just a trivial matter, and it was no different from trampling an ant to death. That's it? Damn it, you are really, too arrogant. Unbearable? Xiao Long finally broke out. He decided to tear Uchiha Madara to pieces anyway. He is addicted to biting his flesh and blood, cannibalizing him and taking Ryatsu, possessing his soul, not only to breathe out bad breath, but also to commemorate Ilf's death. Only by killing Uchiha Madara can the inner anger be calmed. Reverberate. A desperate impulse, the pair of sharp claws showed a terrifying cold light. Don't say such naive words anymore, if you want to kill me, use your real strength. Uchiha Madara's hands were sealed, and a huge great fireball spit out. Not only that, but two Tomo Sherry non turned, actually copying Xiao Long's movements. He swings the serpentine longsword backhand, colliding with the claws with incomparable precision. Clang. The crisp sound is accompanied by the fight of blood and bone, Uchiha Madara's long hair is flying and his steps are orderly. The more he fought, the more excited he became. Advertisement 
the crisp sound of the sharp blades colliding with each other is like that beautiful note, exciting. The roar, the roar is like that beautiful melody, dancing lightly. The cold moon shrouded, the yellow sand flew, and a scarlet flash swept across the earth, illuminating the eternal night. Siro. Not only Xiao Long, but Adoradu and Dilui also join the battlefield. Although they are superior in numbers, they still cannot suppress Uchiha Madara. What makes them even more desperate is that the scale of victory has gradually tilted towards Uchiha Madara. Brush. It was another clean slash, and one of Dilui's arm was cut off. He was panting, and his face gradually became gloomy. Only by playing against Uchiha Madara in person can you experience the latter's arrogant haki. It is not arrogance, nor arrogance, just because the two are not in the same pattern from the beginning. What's the matter, is there only this level? It will disappoint me too much. Anger is not enough. Although Uchiha Madara also has wounds on his body, his aura is more vigorous, and his belligerent instinct makes him energetic. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 28 This Boring Game Is Over Gaikyu Collection Advertisement If there is only this degree, then this boring game can be over. Uchiha Madara took a deep breath, making seals on both hands. The cold wind blew past, like the never-ending winter. Uchiha Madara's hands were stained with blood, turning into a touch of scarlet in the dark night. With great momentum, Uchiha Madara has the upper hand in this hunting game, and he doesn't want to waste any more time. You don't want to defeat us, you are not qualified yet. Xiao Long opened his mouth, and Siro shot out again. Siro? This kind of trick is useless to me, besides. I will too. Uchiha Madara made a move that shocked Xiao Long and the others. Madara raised his fingers, and a red flash of light bloomed on the fingertips. Boom. Fast and majestic, it also contains the hot fire attribute riot suit. Uchiha Madara Siro is obviously many times stronger than ordinary Siro. From this alone, it is destined that he is not an ordinary virtual. The red flash pierced Dilloe's body easily, simple and crude. As the most dished of the four, Dilloe was stunned, but when he lowered his head he saw a dark blood hole. Advertisement How is this possible? Me, I'm going to die. Dilloe's eyes were tightly opened, and he couldn't believe the scene at all. Even if he is weak, he also has the heart of the strong, so he is strangled in the cradle, and he is not reconciled. Dilloe's limbs were cold and he was staggering. He was like a candle swaying in the wind, which could be extinguished at any time. Kill you, I, want to, kill you. As if exhausting his last strength, when Dilloe came to Uchiha Madara with difficulty, the pair of murderous and angry claws stopped in mid-air. The eyes were hollow and dim. At the last moment before the temporary, apart from the hatred of Uchiha Madara, there was only the cold arc on the corner of Madara's mouth. It turns out I was so vulnerable. So I was so vulnerable. It's a pity that I couldn't kill you with my own hands. With the last trace of his mind disintegrating, Dilloe finally died with resentment, and he tragically became the second victim of this hunting game. Participating in the siege was unprecedented greed, but at the end of the game it was an end that had never been imagined. It starts with blood and ends with blood, but the price is an expensive life. Advertisement You hateful monster, I will kill you. Adorado's eyes were red, and he could no longer restrain his usual caution. Although he looked down on Dilloe, as a partner who had been with each other day and night, at least the bond between the partners still existed. Go to hell, Volcano Fist. The body of Edorado is a huge volcanic beast, and there is a hot flame in this heavy blow. However, the seemingly ferocious offensive found the wrong opponent. He didn't know that Uchiha Madara was a ninjutsu master who was good at fire style. Monster? I think you got it wrong. 
In this cold world, there is no more terrifying creature than the imaginary itself. Uchiha Madara nodded both hands and immediately launched a fierce counter-attack. Fire style is extinguished. A huge flame was spit out from Uchiha Madara's mouth, forming a raging sea of flames and rushing towards the two of Adoradu and Xiao Long. This trick to deal with the fire style ninjutsu used by the coalition forces requires 20 water style ninjas to work together to barely resist, let alone a small Adorado. Strongly crushed, unable to resist. There was hardly any resistance, and the scorching fire flooded Adorado's body. Before dying, Adorado seemed to try his best. With his tenacious will, he pushed Xiao Long away and made him out of the burning range of the sea of fire. Boom. Advertisement. Adoradu was scorched by the flames, and finally fell to the ground weakly. This hunting game is now coming to an end, and the ending is obvious. Apart from watching the deaths of his companions one after another, Xiao Long couldn't do anything to save him. As Uchiha Madara said, it is not that their will is insufficient, nor is it that they are not united enough. It's just that the pure pattern is too different. What's wrong, do you still want to resist? Uchiha Madara's momentum is like a rainbow, taking steps like Shinigami. Every step he took meant that Xiao Long was speeding up his death. In addition to the huge gap in strength, Xiao Long's psychological defense has also collapsed. After all, he is powerless revolving heaven. Clang. With a flash of purple light, the dark night seemed to fall into stillness. The bright moon shone silently. Except for a head with a shocked expression on the ground, there was no other sound. P.S. Ask for some flowers evaluation votes, no one looks at it, am I playing a standalone game? Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 29 The Second Evolution, Ajiches, Gaikia Collection Advertisement The pale moonlight like the face of a dead man poured down the earth, and only the river of blood gradually converged under the hazy moonlight. When this battle engraved with blood and tears ended, under the dark and silent night sky, only calm and calm remained. Except for loneliness, there is only silence, without any unnecessary sounds. Uchiha Madara stood alone on the sand dunes, his hands covered with blood, and the serpentine sword kept dropping blood. Tick, tick. Every drop of blood seemed to add a few wonderful notes to this quiet moment. The melody of death is not a tragedy, but the origin of the road to the rise of the strong. Under the shining of the cold moon, Uchiha Madara's figure is like a sword in the dark, welcoming the rays of dawn. It is also like a guard on the Great Wall, awakening the horn of the sleeper. Looking at the four horrible corpses on the ground, Uchiha Madara didn't have any fear in his eyes, but he was shaking. Advertisement It is not only the trembling of the body, but also the trembling of the soul, because Madara feels the call of power from the corpse, which is the unique resonance that evolved into a jitches. When one is nothing, there is nothing to fear. What's more, Uchiha Madara is just a virtual, even if he still carries the human heart, he still can't get rid of the virtual identity. Primitive and brutal emptiness, it must follow the forest law of Hueco Mundo. The weak will feed on the weak and the human will be wiped out. Forget the past, cut the fetters, the only thing Madara can do is swallow. Only by constantly devouring and evolving can we find ourselves back. Natural Arancarization, that is Madara's only pursuit. As a weak Jillian, you can't see anything. The distant future, the cruel reality. Uchiha Madara Madara did not feel the slightest regret for Xiao Long and their fetters. In this desperate world like hell, hunting is an uncommon thing. Perhaps the dedication of the four Xiao Long to the fetters before they died resonated in Madara's heart, which made him think of Senju Hashirama uncontrollably. But this thought flashed by without causing any waves. When the night falls and the cold wind blows, killing is already a destined event. Advertisement In this dark world, 
there is no distinction between good and evil, and there is no distinction between strength and weakness. There is no shadow in the dark. The shadow is exclusive to the strong, and the hunter's weapon. Only the most dazzling fire light can reflect the darkest shadows. That is, the heart of a strong man who always yearns for power. The four of them are only one step away from a jitches. As long as I swallow them, I will be able to evolve smoothly. Uchiha Madara has a sense of anticipation that has not appeared in a long time, and he can't wait to evolve into a jitches. Six months have passed since the last transformation. Although his pupil power has become stronger as Ryatsu continues to grow, it is the two god Sherinan after all, and it cannot evolve into three Tomo Sherinan. Even his size is the same. Although the armor has become stronger, the shape has not changed. Even if it is not visible or too shayable, Uchiha Madara can still feel a door erected in front of him. Only by pushing this door open can one step into another level of life. Ajichas is a mote in Hueco Mundo, an insurmountable threshold for the weak. Only by evolving into Ajichas can you be qualified to become a real powerhouse. Uchiha Madara came to the corpses of Xiao Long and the Four. The moment he closed his eyes, their bodies were covered with blue fluorescence. That's the spirit that gushes out of the body. Devour, evolve. At this moment, all the souls poured into Uchiha Madara's body continuously, turning into the purest power. Advertisement Compared to the entire Hueco Mundo, the power Xiao Long and the others possess may be insignificant. But for Uchiha Madara at this time, it was enough. This power is enough to transform him into a Jichas. The blue spirits continued to flock to Uchiha Madara, feeling the gradual strength in the body, the corner of Uchiha Madara's mouth was curved. As long as he evolves into a Jichas, he has the right to chase a broader sky. From then on, there is no longer any need for these ordinary Jillians who look like ants to him, and those who are truly qualified to be Uchiha Madara opponents are only those Ajichas who have surpassing human intelligence. Time passed slowly, and in a blink of an eye, the figures of Xiao Long and Four disappeared without a trace. They have been completely swallowed by Madara, and everything has been absorbed by Madara. Memory, strength, and soul are all injected into Madara's body. The long-awaited evolution has finally arrived. Ask for some flowers to collect, give a reward, now it's for a day, I'm desperate, I feel like I'm playing a standalone game. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 30 Grim Joe's Fury, Gaikia Collection Advertisement When all the souls were integrated into Uchiha Madara's body, he finally completed the transformation. A black white of the eye morphed from the pupils, and then turned into a black gojade. The three separate guyu rotates around the pupils, and there seems to be endless pupil power between the rotating tracks. 3 Tomo Sherinan When Sherinan only had two guyu jade, he could only see through the trajectory of high-speed action and copy some moves, and did not have the ability to perform illusions. But 3 Tomo Sherinan is a world of difference. After evolving to 3 Tomo Sherinan, in addition to sharper insight, it also has the ability of illusion hypnosis. More importantly, Uchiha Madara's use of Sherinan has reached its zenith, and it is able to exert the power of Sherinan supernormally. Not only the change in pupil power, but also the earth shaking change in body shape. No longer in Suzanu's second form, even the surface of the body is covered with a layer of armor in the shape of a Wuxian dog. Nevertheless, Uchiha Madara's body size has become smaller and more humanoid. Even the snake-shaped long sword has also changed, the body of the sword is white, no longer the same purple as Suzuo. It's not so much that its color has changed, it's more like a Zanpakuto. Advertisement If someone from Soul Society sees it, they will think Uchiha Madara is a Shinigami in armor, and that long sword is the best proof. Strength, pupil power, human nature. Over time, 
the things that were lost gradually returned to Uchiha Madara. He gradually got rid of the shackles of emptiness and became more like a human. Roar. Every cell in the body was burning, and feeling the constant power, Uchiha Madara couldn't help but roar up to the sky. This strong Ryatsu unexpectedly formed a beam of light, bursting out of Uchiha Madara's body, and even the nearby area could be affected by Ryatsu. The terrifying Ryatsu stuns the surroundings, as if showing the power of Uchiha Madara. At the same time, when Uchiha Madara's Ryatsu went straight into the sky, it caused an uproar within Hueco Mundo. One of the methods is a mountain of bones made up of countless corpses. A figure of Haki Hanju is condescending, his eyes fixed on the direction of Ryatsu's explosion. This Ryatsu, is it the newly evolved Ajichas? Advertisement This imaginary is not a humanoid, but a sharp-edged cheetah. The gaze from his azure blue eyes seemed to be two sharp blades, which actually produced a kind of king's aptitude. Leopard King, Grimjo. Beside the pile of corpses, a sturdy figure respectfully guards it. It's just that when he sensed Ryatsu's direction, his face was as pale as a dead man's face. How can this be? This sturdy figure murmured incredibly. His name was Nakim, a Jillian approaching a breakthrough, and he was also Grimjo's entourage, and he was also one of Xiao Long's four companions. It is precisely because of Nakim's proposal that Xiao Long and the others have the idea of following Grimjo. When Nakim sensed the source of Ryatsu, a desperate thought arose in his heart, that is, Xiao Long and the four of them were killed. In order to break through from Jillian to Ajiches, in addition to possessing natural qualifications, he also needs to devour Minos Grande of the same level. Except for the thought of Xiao Long and the others being killed, Nakim couldn't think of any other reasons that led to the birth of Ajilian for no reason. Master Grimjo, maybe, maybe Xiao Long and the others. Advertisement. Nakim's voice trembled, and even though he had prepared for the worst, he couldn't speak. What happened to them? Grimjo's voice was cold and merciless and seemed to be dissatisfied with Nakim's hesitation. Xiao Long and the others are very likely to be swallowed. Nakim finally told the truth of this tragedy. You mean the newly born Ajiches? Grim Joe's eyes burst out with a sharp glow, faintly fierce flashes. Although he despised Xiao Long and the others, he also regarded them as his subordinates. However, his subordinate was swallowed by a mysterious void and evolved into Ajiches. This tone will never be tolerated. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 31 Sounds from the Depths of Hueco Mundo, Gaikia Collection Advertisement In the depths of Hueco Mundo there is a palace of darkness and silence everywhere. Strictly speaking, this is not a palace, but a huge stronghold made up of countless broken walls. Place countless imaginary yearning and fear. See Palace. The reason why this palace looks dilapidated is because it does not have a canopy, and it does not need a canopy. For Skeleton the Great, the entire Hueco Mundo is his palace, and this sky full of darkness and despair is the best canopy. Um. Does this Ryatsu give birth to a new Ajichas? It's really rare, but... At the end of the palace, in a corner full of darkness and gloom, a tall throne stood. Above the throne sat a figure who was not too tall. A luxurious purple servant, wearing a skull crown, the seemingly weak body exudes a powerful Ryatsu, which makes people suffocate, depress, and even breathe. It is the ruler of Hueco Mundo, the skeleton emperor who has been imaginary by countless gods. Baragan. Ruizambang. As the ruler of Hueco Mundo, Baragan has supreme authority. He is the king of Hueco Mundo, he is the god of all humility, sacred and inviolable. Advertisement. Below the throne, there are many tall figures standing side by side. They were either standing or sitting, but they looked at the figure on the throne with a sense of awe. Among these Minos Grandes, there is no shortage of Minos Grande at the price of Ajiches, 
but they are loyal to Baragan. Like the loyal soldier guarding the king, like the devout believer worshipping the gods. There seems to be more than one Ajitches in that direction. Baragan leaned on the throne and said casually. Your Majesty, I have set foot in that area. In addition to the newly born Ajitches, there may be Grimja. A humanoid Minos Grande stood respectfully in front of the throne, and it looked at Baragan with only fanatical worship. Grimja. Speaking of the name, Baragan's eyes flashed fiercely. Even if he is strong enough to occupy the entire Waco Mundo, there are still many thorns who refuse to submit to him, and Grimjo is one of them. It's him again. It seems that Grimjo has something to do with the appearance of the new Ajiches this time. It's really interesting. Baragan looked at the figures under the throne, and said lightly, Charlotte Kurafun, Abila Maldot, Fender Guy Lyassi, Chinan Bo. You four, go, Grimjo bring it back to me, along with the mysterious Ajiches. Four Minos Grande of different shapes kneeled on the ground respectfully. They are all outstanding among Baragan's men, and they are strong and even not inferior to Ajiches. Advertisement Don't worry, Your Majesty. With the four of us taking action together, even if Grimjo is strong, he can't escape the palm of your hand, Your Majesty. Although the lead Charlotte Kuru had a rough face, her words and deeds revealed a feminine charm. Huh, go. This kind of boring day is too long. I don't know what kind of surprise the newly born Ajiches can bring me. Even the skeleton emperor disliked Charlotte Kurafun and disgusted. His mind was all on Grimjo and Uchiha Madara, and there was an inexplicable light in his eyes. Yes, your majesty. As if feeling the displeasure of Emperor Skull and Crossbones, the four of them quickly lowered their heads and consciously left the throne. Although they are Baragan's confidants, they live in fear all the time, for fear that the Skeleton Emperor will kill them easily. Once there was a Jillian who offended the Skeleton Emperor, but Baragan used the power of aging to turn into decay. Only after seeing the power of aging, will you understand what the real power of God is. Control aging, control time, all creatures can't escape the fate of decay. When these four figures disappeared, the huge Suya Palace resumed its previous orders. Except for Baragan, who was sitting on the throne, the other Minos Grande lowered their heads for fear of making contact with Baragan's eyes. Only fear from the heart can cause this to happen. Except for the darkness and emptiness, the entire Suya Palace was left with deathly silence. Advertisement. Hueco Mundo somewhere. On a pile of countless Minos Grande corpses, a blindfolded figure stands on it. Although he is thin and thin, he has six arms. All six hands were holding a sickle tightly. The sharp blade shone with an icy light under the shroud of the cold moon, revealing a chilling breath of terror. This figure keeps breathing, obviously it has just experienced a big battle. Cut. It's a bunch of rubbish. Hundreds of imaginary are not my opponents, it's really a boring battle. This voice was full of contempt, and his face seemed to be tired of the weak. Suddenly, when Uchiha Madara's riot so struck, the figure was first sluggish, and then smiled ecstatically. This is, the newly born Ajiches. Ha, only this strong person is qualified to be my Noitra opponent. Crazy look accompanied by a strong fighting spirit. Neutra's figure disappeared into the night without a trace. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 32 Hatred is the Source of Killing, Gaikia Collection Advertisement Under the dark night sky, Uchiha Madara's figure, although lonely, has an upright aura. Especially after evolving into Ajiches, Ryatsu in his body became more majestic. Unparalleled aura, cold and merciless eyes, three goje turning like a blood moon. Even if the sun falls, candlelight cannot be replaced. Only the most boiling blood, can become the most dazzling light in the night. I think they should be able to feel my breath. Then I will wait for the good show to begin. 
I don't know what kind of battle you can bring to me. The corners of Uchiha Madara's mouth set off an evil arc. He wasn't Ryatsu who recklessly exposed himself. On the contrary, all this is under his control. Hueco Mundo is so big, there are boundless deserts, and it can even be said to be vast. It is not easy to find a Jichis from it. After all, except for the Sui Palace in the center of Hueco Mundo, there are few footprints in most places. The purpose of releasing his own Ryatsu is to attract a Jichis to come by himself. In this dark night, Uchiha Madara's Ryatsu is like a beacon that illuminates the route in the dark. The dazzling light is not only to show your own strength, but also to provocation and fight. Although this pupil power is not worth mentioning compared to the peak period, it is a good method. The reason why Uchiha Madara is not afraid of other Ajichas is not only because of his self-confidence in his own strength, but also because of the pair of two Tomo Sherinan. Advertisement Copy tricks, insight into the trail, and cast illusions. If it is in the ninja world, three Tomo Sherinan may not be so important. But in this primitive world that advocates violence and barbarism, there is almost no illusion who is good at using illusion, at least Uchiha Madara has not encountered it so far. The cold wind howled, Uchiha Madara's long hair fluttered. Deathly silence, accompanied by an atmosphere of heavy depression. As long as there is any wind and grass, it will be transmitted to Uchiha Madara's ears in an instant. Finally, the breath of anticipation appeared. This breath, ha, it turned out to be a jichas. After transforming into a jichas, Uchiha Madara's perception range has also expanded several times. He could clearly sense that the two breaths were approaching quickly. One breath is only one step away from a jichas, but the other breath is genuine a jichas. A jichas, it came just right, otherwise I really can't afford my interest in trying new ninjutsu. Uchiha Madara is looking forward to it more and more, as if there is a cry of desire in his heart. Only fighting can burn blood. Only by fighting can you gain strength. Advertisement. Only by fighting can the weak be judged. Fighting is the only theme in this cruel world. On the other side, not far from where Uchiha Madara is, two figures are approaching quickly. Nakim, Grimjo. The expressions of the two are different. Grimjo had only the arrogance of fighting in his eyes. The almost crazy desire to fight made him speed up all the way. But Nakim seemed a bit disappointed, and the death of his partner who got along with him day and night was a major blow to him. Although he didn't want to admit it in his heart, Nakim knew it well. Don't worry, I will kill him personally, devour his body, and regain your power. There was a touch of madness in Nakim's eyes, even if his opponent was a jichas. For the sake of your companions, for the vows you made, and for the fetters you once had, you must avenge yourself. Can one get revenge if one is afraid? Whether it is human or virtual, it will only be changed and strengthened when it is crazy. The closer you get, the more you can feel the huge riot suit. Advertisement. Ha, really a jichas. Great. I finally found a decent opponent. Grim Joe was extremely excited, the sharp claws clanging, the expression of excitement from the heart. Nakim looked at Grim Joe's back, fearing and agreeing, and he said coldly, Grim Joe, if there is a chance, please leave me the chance of a fatal blow. What? You want to kill him? Grim Joe looked at Nakim with interest. It didn't matter to him whether he killed the Ajichas or not. The most important thing is to enjoy this battle. Only by killing him can we avenge Xiao Long and the others. As a emptiness without a heart, Nakim would say such things, which surprised Grimjo. However, Grimjo immediately agreed with Nakim's request. After all, he also regarded Xiao Long and the four as his followers. Brush. After crossing a hillside again, Grimjo and Nakim finally came to the dilapidated stronghold. As soon as they got there, the figure standing on the mountain instantly attracted their attention. Uchiha Madara. 
Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 33 I am the one who is about to take your life, Gaikia Collection. Advertisement Finally I find you. The moment Grim Joe saw Uchiha Madara, an arc appeared sincerely in the corner of his mouth. This look, it's true, you are the Ajichas. The excited dance boiled, Grim Joe even let out a long scream. There is no need for too much words, nor too much action, just a look can tell everything. Only the eyes of the strong can have the arrogant haki. Grim Joe could not see any fear in Madara's eyes, but a strong fighting spirit. This is amazing for Grim Joe, because he has found a decent opponent. You are a jitches, right? Uchiha Madara looked at Grim Joe calmly, and said meaningfully, I wonder who is strong or weak between you and the legendary Hueco Mundo Master. Dominated by Hueco Mundo. Grim Joe was stunned, his face was gloomy, and he said coldly, Are you talking about Barrigan? Humph, he's just an arrogant man. Uchiha Madara's eyes flickered and smiled slightly, Really? Then why do I see fear in your eyes? Advertisement. If I guessed correctly, he should be the real Vasto Lord. As the master of Hueco Mundo, it would be a shame if he doesn't even have this strength. Grim Joe is not difficult, so what, he is just the oldest existence of Hueco Mundo, sooner or later I will become the real king, and now is my first step on the bloody road. Roar. The terrifying roar, accompanied by the breathtaking majestic Riot Suit. At this moment, Ryatsu in Grim Joe's body gushed out unreservedly, raging everywhere. What's your face? Do you think you can kill me without knowing the gap between us? It's ridiculous. Uchiha Madara's hands are environmentally friendly, while Haki looks down completely. Even staring at the Ryatsu that Grim Joe had brought, he still didn't change his face. In this cruel world, there is no absolute strong, only the absolute weak. There is no shortage of the strong, it is rare to be able to maintain a strong heart all the time. Looking at each other, apart from the silence, there is only the silent hatred and killing intent. Did you devour Xiao Long and the four of them? Nazim could no longer restrain his inner killing intent. He couldn't wait to know the answer. Even if Xiao Long and the others had little chance of survival, they still held the last glimmer of hope. Advertisement Yes, they have been swallowed by me, and by this I have gained even more powerful strength. But I see anger in your eyes, which is really ironic. Uchiha Madara ridiculed, the survival of the fittest and the elimination of the weak are the iron rules in this cruel world. The weak have worked hard, and the strong reap the benefits. There is no fairness in the true sense of the world, and everything is only for the strong. Nakim was calm unexpectedly, but the turbulent riots who said it all. Unconcealable anger, accompanied by a terrifying killing intent. Siro. Although Nakim is sturdy, even a little clumsy. But he played Siro very neatly and did not procrastinate. Huh, relying only on the will left over from your partner is like defeating me. Power is different from will. He is the transformation of matter, let alone you are just a Jillian. Although Uchiha Madara looked down on Nakim, he still gave him the respect he deserved. Madara went all out and also blasted Asuro. Boom! The flashes collided in mid-air, bursting out the most dazzling light. It's just that the collision of power is different. With the advantage of spiritual power, Uchiha Madara Asuro is obviously better. Damn it, you fellow. Advertisement. Nakim clenched his fists angrily, but he was helpless but helpless. The gap between Jillian and Ajichas can't be made up with anger. Let me come, Nazim, you are not this guy's opponent. Grim Joe stretched out his arm to stop Nazim. He is like a cheetah looking for opportunities, showing his fangs at critical moments. Hi, Ajichas, what's your name? Grim Joe didn't make a sneak attack. Although he likes to kill, he advocates a fair fight. 
Asking the name of Uchiha Madara before the fight is simply to give the strong the respect they deserve. Uchiha Madara. Only four words represent strong self-confidence. As a man who used to stand alone against the entire ninja world, even now that the tiger is falling into the Pingyang, Madara still does not flinch when facing the ferocious Grimja. Uchiha Madara? It's really a good name, I wrote it down. But, please remember my name too. Grimjo. Jokajak. Grimjo's mouth had a creepy smile, because that's the one who is about to take your life. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement. Chapter 34 The Duel Between the Strong. Gaikyu Collection. Advertisement. Because that is the name of the person who is about to kill you. With an undisguised killing intent, accompanied by a roar, Grim Joe's figure instantly disappeared from Uchiha Madara's vision. Reverberate. This speed, too fast. Uchiha Madara's pupils shrank suddenly, and even though he had three Tomo Sherry non, he couldn't react. He could only feel Grim Joe's riot suit. With an unprecedented sense of crisis in his heart, Uchiha Madara instinctively held the long sword in front of him. Then the sudden impact proved that this move was correct. The sharp claws flickered under the embellishment of the cold moon, and the sharp claw blade was like a big knife on the guillotine, which would cut off the head if it was careless. Boom! With a huge impact and a normal storm, Uchiha Madara's figure was shaken by the majestic riot so for the first time. Stabbed. Uchiha Madara used her brute force to stabilize her body when her feet rubbed a conspicuous mark on the ground. At this time, the calmness on his face disappeared, replaced by a look of surprise. Grim Joe is too strong, almost like a monster. Whether it is the agile skill or the indescribable explosive power, it is far superior to the opponents Madara has encountered before. Advertisement Ajiches and Jillian are not in the same pattern after all. But, this also excites Uchiha Madara even more. Only such a powerful enemy is qualified to be his opponent. The look in his eyes is no longer the kind of nonchalant look, but the coldness deep into the bones, even colder than this desperate cold moon. Uchiha Madara is finally serious. It's great. It's this look, this look is Hein wants to kill the prey. This is what I want to see. Not only Uchiha Madara, even Grim Joe trembled because of excitement, he could even feel the sound inside his body caused by the boiling of the dance. That is the melody of battle, that is the horn to advance, that is the roar of fighting. That's right, it's Minos Grande who bears the name of Ajichas. Then, Uchiha Madara must do my best. Uchiha Madara grasped the snake-shaped longsword and swiped it suddenly, and Ryatsu instantly split a huge crack in the ground with the slash of the blade. This scene caught Grim Joe's eyes but made him even more excited. Ha 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 ha. Great, I'm just waiting for this moment. I'm waiting for this moment to kill you with all my strength. You should, do the same, right? Zero. Advertisement. The red flashes condensed in the palm of the Leopard King, the melody burst out suddenly, and a red ray shot straight towards Uchiha Madara. This level of Ryatsu is far beyond what I expected, but, it's just taking it for granted that I want to defeat me with this. Reverberate. The old technique was repeated, Uchiha Madara's figure also disappeared instantly, avoiding Siro's bombardment just right. The master's response is unique. It is a new response that combines the body flicker technique of the ninja after swallowing countless jillions. Although there is not much improvement in speed, but in proficiency by leaps and bounds. This speed. It seems you are stronger than I thought. But that's great. It seemed that Uchiha Madara was expected to appear long ago, Grim Joe instinctively waved the claw blade behind him, and made the first prediction. As a leopard king who hunts prey, he still has this confidence. Sure enough, Uchiha Madara's figure happened to appear in that place. At the moment when the sword and the claws collided, 
Uchihamadara frowned for the first time. This opponent is too strong and too difficult to deal with. Especially the unparalleled explosive power and keen perception are flawless. What's wrong, Uchihamadara, I seem to see a wave of vacillation in your eyes. Is it because you should feel my strength to make you desperate? Grim Joe's mouth raised a sneer smile, but he had the upper hand in the fight between the sparks and flints. So Grim Joe certainly has the capital to ridicule. Really, do you think so? It's really interesting, I started to change my mind, and no longer fight to kill you. Because you are a rare opponent, an opponent who allows me to enjoy the pleasure of fighting. If so killing you like this, wouldn't this boring time lose another kind of fun? Advertisement Uchihamadara did not respond to Grimjo, but said something in his heart. After coming to Hueco Mundo, this was the first time he felt the unprecedented passion of dancing. Stop talking about such silly things, just say it, in fact, you really want to kill me. You want to kill me who is trying to kill you, and you want to divide me into five pieces. Grim Joe sneered and said, in any case, I will not be merciful. If you don't want to resist, then die tragedy with fear and regret. Uchihamadara firmly grasped the hilt of the long sword and said meaningfully, dying with fear? I think you have understood it wrong. As an opponent, why do you think this is my all-out effort? After speaking, Uchihamadara closed her eyes. At this time, Grim Joe suddenly felt a strong sense of crisis. Just as his instinct drove him to leave, he saw an unforgettable scene. It was a pair of cold eyes without any emotion, blood-colored pupils, and cold eyes like a knife hanging on the head, deep into the soul, shocking the soul. 3. Tomo Sherry Non Immediately afterwards, a powerful pupil force gushed out from it, suddenly giving Grim Joe a huge mental shock. This is, illusion. Grim Joe's eyes were hollow and his hands were loose. But only this short moment allowed Uchihamadara to succeed. The sharp blade went from top to bottom, and stroked Grim Joe's body mercilessly. Under the hazy night, blood spattered. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 35 The Oath of Blood and Bones, Gaikia Collection Advertisement The blood splattered all over and turned into the floating blood flowers, which appeared particularly conspicuous in this cold dark night. Tick, tick. The whole world seemed to be forbidden at this moment, leaving only the sound of blood flowing. The sharp blade reflected the thorny red light under the reflection of the moonlight, adding a touch of misery to the suffocating night. Grim Joe was stunned. He looked down at the wound on his body, unexpectedly calm. The head slowly lowered, and the palm took the initiative to hold the blade. The breath became deeper and colder, as if the surrounding area turned into a 10,000 years ice cave. Blood. This is the feeling of blood. Very well, you did it. This is the feeling I've been looking forward to for a long time. I will let you thoroughly understand, whose power is stronger. Grim Joe suddenly raised his head, a trace of madness condensed in his eyes. For this bloody baptism. I swear in the name of night and desert. I swear by the reputation of blood and bone. Advertisement. I swear in the name of barbarism and killing. You must be broken into pieces by your own hands. Roar. The burning cells exploded with endless power, Grim Joe counterattacked, and even shook Uchihamadara's body back. The wound on the chest also healed at a speed visible to the naked eye and this scene also caught Uchihamadara's attention. High-speed regeneration. Come on, let's have a good fight. As a jitch is, the loser will die. This is something that was determined long ago. Grim Joe grinned, come on, what reason is needed to fight? Only the one who can stand to the end can live, it's that simple. With the madness in his eyes, Grim Joe felt like his blood was burning. However, Uchihamadara's response to him was as calm as ever. What's your face? 
haven't you already learned about the gap between us? Uchiha Madara shook the blade, and scarlet blood dripped along the tip of the sword. That is the blood of Grimjo, and it also represents the strength of Uchiha Madara. I like your look, but it's not enough. Grimjo raised his palm, and Asiro blasted out, blasting towards Uchiha Madara with a violent aura. Advertisement Huh, Siro. You look down on me too much. Uchiha Madara gave a cold snort and also blasted out a Siro. Boom. The two crimson flashes collided with each other, blooming the most dazzling brilliance. The majestic riot so ravaged the area like a raging cloud, not only collapsing the sand pile, but also setting off a frenzy of sand dancing. Wow. Even though he had been prepared for a long time, Nakim was still suppressed by Ryatsu. Not only that, but a kind of fear arose in his heart even instinctively. That is the fear of the soul, the suppression of the life level, and the instinctive fear of the weak for the strong. The instinct of living beings makes living beings rely on existences that are better than themselves. As a result, the gap between each other will become larger and larger. People who are trusted will evolve to a higher level because they escape this heavy pressure. In this way, the battle will take place. In this way, fear will permeate. In this way, blood will flow. Damn it, why am I so weak? Nakim clenched his fists, and there was a clear unwillingness in his eyes. The huge gap between Ajitches and Jillian is like an insurmountable moat, making his new life desperate. Advertisement Want revenge? Not enough. Just anger? Not enough. The huge gap in the pattern meant that Nakim could only play the role of a poor bystander. Boom. There was another deafening noise, and the two figures were indistinguishable in the air. Although Uchiha Madara has the advantage of three Tomo Sherinan, there is still a gap in Ryatsu, so it still has no advantage. Ha, great. I can meet an opponent like you. No matter how many scars appear on his body, the craziness in Grimjo's eyes will only grow stronger. He enjoys the thrill of fighting and the feeling of being baptized in blood. And Uchiha Madara didn't feel this way, it was the most hardy battle he encountered since he came to Hueco Mundo. This is a dark world, this is a desperate world. And the two of them are just a imaginary who is struggling in the cracks of the world. Even if one of them falls, his blood will blur the boundaries of this world. And the one who survived, will step on his flesh and blood, staggering forward. With the passage of time, the fight between the two has also reached a fever pitch. But even though the two of them were bruised, they still didn't mean to stop. At this moment, a voice full of killing intent sounded, and the deadlock was suddenly broken. Grimjo, the newly born Ajiches, really is the riots a storm caused by your battle. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 36 Surrender or Death, Gaikia Collection Advertisement Grimjo, it really is you. A rough and crazy voice sounded, suddenly breaking the tranquility of the night. Grimjo and Uchiha Madara stopped their hands and turned their eyes to the source of the sound. A rough figure with a feminine and coquettish dress came into view, and the rough voice came from his mouth, which was a bit strange. Charlotte. Kuru Wind. He called himself Baragans first hand and finally arrived here with the other three. The moment he saw these guys, Grimjo's frenzied expression gradually subsided and then became gloomy. You guys, our Baragan sent again. The words were full of disdain, and it was clear that Grimjo hated Baragan. Advertisement Originally, Grimjo was just an ordinary Minos Grande. Although it had unlimited potential, it did not shine with the light that belonged to him. But the moment he evolved into Ajiches, he was caught up by Baragan. Although for the vast Hueco Mundo, a mere Ajiches is not that powerful, but it is also very few. As the ruler of Hueco Mundo, Baragan aspires to lead these powerful Ajiches. On the one hand, they can be controlled, 
and on the other hand, they can be prevented from threatening their status. And this time he sent his subordinates to capture Grimjo for this purpose, after all, it was for his own selfishness. You are not allowed to call your majesty's name directly. Abilama scolded him angrily, his body is rather special, like a human-shaped vulture, although it looks majestic, but a bit mad. Huh, Grimjo, I let you run away last time, this time I will take you back to the Void Knight Palace anyway. Fender looked on with a cold face, and Riot so surged on his huge crab claw, as if he was about to shoot if he didn't agree. Just because you want to beat me? What a foolish dream. Grim Joe fought against each other and didn't want to pay attention to these little guys at all. He is a man who wants to grow to be a king, so how can he be afraid of these few obstacles? It seems that you want to repeat the same mistakes? Then don't let us do the cruelty. Advertisement Nong Chi's eyes were cold, and he said with a cold voice, although your majesty has given us the task to bring you back to the Void Knight Palace, he did not specify which way to bring you back. Grimjo, do you think it's better to cut off your limbs, or pierce countless holes in your body? Anyway, you have the ability of high-speed regeneration, no matter how you will die, it's just a hellish torture. That's it? Although Nong Chi's remarks sounded an understatement, they contained vicious resentments, and torturing Grimjo was his real goal. Hey, that Ajich is over there, now it's your turn to make a choice. Is it to follow us to subdue Grimjo, or to defy the Emperor's order and grow the enemy of the Void Knight Palace? Charlotte Kurufong did not put Uchiha Madara aside, but presented him with a problem. If it is the first choice, it is tantamount to surrendering to Baragan, and Grimjo is to vote for fame. If there are two choices, it means that you will face the endless pursuit of the Suya Palace in the future. Surrender or die? However, this choice is not a problem at all for Uchiha Madara. If he chooses to surrender, then he will not be Uchiha Madara, but a walking dead without a soul. The cold eyes had already told the answer. Obviously Uchiha chose to resist. Humph, it seems that you Ajichas are all virtuous, relying on riots is skyrocketing to rebel against the Emperor's orders. How stupid! Advertisement Charlotte Kurafeng's heart burst into an unknown fire. In his opinion, following Baragan is a supreme thing, but Grimjo and the others have resisted the Emperor's orders again and again. This crime cannot be forgiven. Obviously it is a group of mobs, but they put on an arrogant appearance, your behavior is really ridiculous. Uchiha Madara didn't intend to give Charlotte and the others any affection. Even though the four of them looked very strong, it was just a hard fight. It's just that you just transformed into a jitches, but you dare to speak wildly. I have to say that you are indeed courageous. Charlotte's eyes were cold, but, arrogant people are easy to die. Fender, Shinon, you two deal with him. Abilama and I deal with Grimjo. Charlotte quickly gave the order. In his opinion, Grimjo's power is relatively strong and needs to be dealt with personally. So two other people were sent to deal with Uchiha Madara. Take it out for me. Even if you haven't fully controlled the full power of Ajichas, it's not something you can handle with a rat. Uchiha Madara got the seal with both hands and took the initiative to launch an offensive. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 37 Desperate Pursuit, Gaikyu Collection Advertisement Fire Style, Long Yan Singing Technique The scorching flames spit out from Uchiha Madara's mouth, and immediately turned into several raging fire dragons and rushed towards the four charlottes below. What is this ability? Although he was not afraid of fire dragons, Grim Joe was still surprised. Although every Sioux has his own natural ability, it is rare to be able to control the flames so skillfully. Then what happened to the previous pair of eyes? Grim Joe was puzzled. He suddenly discovered that Uchiha Madara was hiding a lot of secrets, completely different from the opponents he had encountered before. 
What a funny guy. Grim Joe looked at Uchiha Madara's back, his eyes flickering as if he was contemplating something. It turned out to be a flame. What a special ability. Advertisement. The four of Charlotte were also surprised, but they quickly launched a counter-attack. Four red flashes blasted out, smashing the fire dragon in mid-air. Although the fire dragon is also condensed by Ryatsu, Siro is dense and powerful. Boom. The fire dragon collapsed, and the flame fell in the air. Suddenly, the whole place turned into a flame hell. In the pale moonlight, the flames were burning, and Charlotte's face looked more gloomy in the light of the fire. He suddenly discovered that his opponent seemed more difficult than he thought. Abilama, come with me, kill Grim Joe first, and then clean up this guy later. Although she wanted to kill Uchiha Madara personally, after thinking about it, Charlotte Kurafun decided to kill Grim Joe first. The fierce name of the Leopard King has begun to spread to the Palace of the Night, and Uchiha Madara is just a newly born Ajichas. Then this guy will leave it to us. Fender Guy Lyasi and Chinanbo took a step forward and instantly appeared in front of Uchiha Madara. The sound of this pure fire suddenly shrank Uchiha Madara's pupils. Compared with Xiao Long and the four of them, Fender's strength can be described as another level. In other words, even if Uchiha Madara has evolved to Ajichas, it cannot be taken lightly. Otherwise, he might die. Brush. The blade in his hand slashed without hesitation, but it didn't make much difference. Advertisement. The sturdy Keenan bow sneered contemptuously, and blocked Uchiha Madara's slash with just one punch. More importantly, the blade that contained Ryatsu only left a very shallow wound on his fist. Surprised, right? I am the strongest person under Barragan the Great. With your blade, I can't cut through my skin. Chinanbo didn't lie. He was born with brute force and huge size. Even if it wasn't a jitches, he could not fall under the wind with the hardness of his body. Although Uchiha Madara possesses Rinnegan and various ninjutsu, it is indeed not as good as Chinanbo in terms of pure power confrontation. Boom. It was another blow, like a black cloud covering the sky and the sun, even if Uchiha Madara touched her with a blade in front of her, she was blown away. Relying on brute force can push me to this point. I have to say that I recognize your strength. But. Brute force is brute force after all. Uchiha Madara made seals on both hands and performed ninjutsu again. Water style, Miss Shinobi technique. Ryatsu turned into a hazy mist, continuously pouring out of the body. In an instant, Uchiha Madara's figure disappeared into the thick fog. Mist, he can actually use mist, how is this possible? Isn't his ability to control Hokage? Whether it was the Four of Charlotte or Grimjo, the stormy sea was upset in their hearts. You must know that being able to display one ability is already the limit of most imaginary ones, but having two completely different abilities is unprecedented. It's terrible, his potential may be greater than Grimjo. Advertisement Charlotte Kurafeng's face grew gloomy, and an imperceptible fierce light flashed from the depths of her pupils. Any Ajichas with great potential is a potential threat. Once they evolve into Vasto Lord, they will threaten the status of Skeleton King. It is the wisest decision to kill these Ajichas in the cradle before they have grown up. Siro. Charlotte Kurufong and Abilamo looked at each other, and after using Siro to force Grim Joe back, they rushed to Uchiha Madara at the same time. By this time, their mindset had completely changed. Compared to Grim Joe, Uchiha Madara is more threatening. Therefore, Uchiha Madara must be slaughtered anyway. Damn it, you guys dare to look down on me. Grim Joe, who was arrogantly ignored, suddenly felt the flash hat. Just when he was about to take action, Uchiha Madara's figure burst out of thick fog and flee towards the distance. Only Chinanbo and Fender Guy Lyasi, who were close at hand, had time to react. In a short while, the figures of the three of them disappeared into the vast desert. Damn it, let him run away. 
but I'll vent it on you, Grimja. Charlotte Kuru was so angry that she finally showed her most primitive wildness and poured all her hatred on Grimja. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 38 The Arrival of Noitra, Gaikia Collection Advertisement Grimjo and Uchiha Madara's matchup between the king and the king was interrupted because of the arrival of Charlotte Kurafun and the others. Along with Uchiha Madara, Fender Guy Lyasi, and Chinanpo disappeared into the night, the surroundings regained silence. Brush The three figures walked through the night like a ghost, and the three chased back and forth, accompanied by red flashes. Damn it, don't you want to run? Fender yelled from behind. He couldn't wait to tear Uchiha Madara's body to pieces, but he could only watch the distance between the two continue to enlarge. His body is a crab, he is not good at speed, because he can only do it in a hurry. Needless to say, Chinanbo is completely a mobile fortress, and it is a blessing to be able to catch up with the two of them. But the two of them didn't realize that this was because Uchiha Madara deliberately slowed down. Uchiha Madara glanced back, a wicked arc of her mouth. He is not afraid of each other, but wants to lead the two into a desperate situation. Darkness breeds light, and light turns away from darkness. Curse the darkness. That's why the killing was born. Patter. After escaping far enough, Uchiha Madara finally stopped and landed steadily on a hill. He turned around and looked at the two with interest, and said, How about? Is it enough? You guy, did you bring us here on purpose? Advertisement Although Chinanbo is clumsy, but his brain is not stupid, he did not see the slightest fear from Uchiha Madara's face, but was under control. Chi Nongbo's face immediately turned gloomy, even a little unhappy, being led by the nose is not a thing to be happy about. What's your expression? Don't you understand the gap between us? Uchiha Madara embraced her arms and looked down at the two condescendingly, with only endless haki in her eyes. Siro. Without saying too much, Chinanpo directly responded to Uchiha Madara's provocation with a siro. But they saw an unbelievable scene. I saw Uchiha Madara's palm also condensed with red flashes, but when the flashes condensed into a round ball, he used a snake-shaped sword to penetrate the virtual bullet and then violently threw it out. Brush. The virtual bomb struck the night sky like a meteor, exploding accurately beside the two of Chinanbo. This scene is just like the collaboration between Suzanu and Nine Tails. Undefiable and powerful. Even though the two of Chin and Bo's arms were in front of them, they still received a huge impact from Siro's energy, and the skin on their arms was burned by the hot power. Damn it, damn it, I must kill you. Fender was furious, and he suddenly waved the pair of huge crab claws, and suddenly a jet of water that could cut everything was shot out. Water style, water barrier. The wall formed by the water curtain rises, easily blocking this offensive. You can use the power of water and fire proficiently. If you save your life, it will be a disaster in the future. Advertisement Fender became angry from embarrassment, but had nothing to do. Uchiha Madara gave him the feeling like a bottomless pit, and he couldn't see his true strength at all. Your Majesty? It's really ridiculous. The skeleton emperor in your mouth is nothing more than a phantom who fears death, so why bother to deceive yourself and call yourself your majesty? A sneer appeared at the corner of Uchiha Madara's mouth. If it weren't for fear, Barragan didn't need to deliberately send out his men to arrest Ajiches, just because these Minos Grande would threaten his status. You didn't understand, your majesty is the supreme god, and he is destined to be the ruler of Hueco Mundo, Unique, the only king. Fender said piously. There was only fanatical worship in his eyes. In his eyes, Barragan is the invincible god, sacred and inviolable. Anyone who dares to offend a god will have only one ending, and that is death. You overbearing guy, do you know who you are provoking like now? 
the god of Waco Mundo, Skeleton King. Fender sneered, even the half Aaron Car Haribel is not the opponent of the emperor, let alone you, the ant who has just been promoted to Ajiches. How can you understand a gap between Vasto Lord and Ajiches based on your strength? Faced with the cynicism between the two, Uchiha Madara remained indifferent. What about the gods? What about ants? For him, none of these matters. Strength is the source of everything. The reason why we feel that the flowers on the cliff are beautiful is that we will stop on the cliff, instead of taking a step to the sky like those undaunted flowers. Come on, let me see what kind of abilities the subordinates trained by the so-called Waco Mundo God have. With the determination of the strong, Uchiha Madara's figure rushed towards the two. Advertisement Since you are deliberately looking for death, don't blame us. Chi Nongbo looked up to the sky and roared, and that sturdy figure exploded with incomparable strength. Under the dark moonlight, the two figures collided with each other, and a fierce riot so erupted. With the passage of time, the curtain on this war has gradually come to an end. Looking around, the ground is in a mess, and even the topography has completely changed. Obviously, this earth-shattering battle was even more tragic than imagined. Huh, huh, huh. The rapid breathing broke the tranquility of the night, and Uchiha Madara was exhausted leaning on the boulder. He seemed to be a god of war bathed in blood, full of blood, and even the snake-shaped longsword was stained with scarlet blood. Not far in front of him, Fender and Chinanbo had turned into two corpses and died in anger. They were scorched black, as if burned by the scorching flames. It's a difficult guy, worthy of being under the king of Waco Mundo. A smile appeared at the corner of Uchiha Madara's mouth. Although the battle was fierce, he enjoyed it very much. Only through the battle of death can the most primitive potential erupt. At this moment, a chilling voice suddenly sounded, breaking the tranquility of the night. Cut, you guy, it's so hard to deal with two rubbish, it's rubbish. A tall and thin figure appeared in front of Uchiha Madara. He had six arms, each holding a sickle. Holy crying mantis, Noitra. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 39, Are You Willing to Be My Partner? Gaikyu Collection Advertisement What a waste. Noitra suddenly appeared on the sand like a shinigami. The six huge sickles glowed coldly. There was an undisguised killing intent on that slightly hideous face. In fact, Noitra has long been eyeing Uchiha Madara. As early as Uchiha Madara's riot suit was exposed, Noitra immediately rushed to the source of this riot suit. It's just that he spotted Charlotte Kurafun and his party on the way. Out of prudent thoughts, Noitra did not choose to shoot immediately, but the feeder lurked. When Charlotte and her party separated, Noitra's reasons were met. Who are you? Although not afraid, when he first saw Noitra, Uchiha Madara still felt uneasy. Ryatsu, who is equal to Grimjo, is even stronger, and even the aura is even more fierce. Unlike Grimjo's advocacy of fighting, Uchiha Madara can see that Noitra is the kind of real cruel and cruel person. Noitra Gilga, the one who is about to take your life. It seems to be contaminated with too much blood, even though it is far away, Uchiha Madara can still feel the bloody smell from the sickle. The few drops of scarlet blood dripped from the cold glowing blade, and the ticking sound was like the death knell to greet death. Noitra's eyes were full of madness. He couldn't wait to kill Uchiha Madara, eat his body, and devour his soul, so that he could take another step toward the strongest. It's really ironic, I didn't expect you to get something for nothing in the end. Uchiha Madara didn't blame himself at all in his words, only a helpless sigh. He knew Noitra's intentions almost without thinking, but he could do nothing. Advertisement Ryatsu who was able to kill Fender and Nunki had exhausted his whole body, and Uchiha Madara was already seriously injured. At this time, 
even the most ordinary Jillian could easily kill him. Da da da. Noitra's footsteps are getting closer, which also means that Uchiha Madara is further from death. Death means the end. Death means liberation. In the same way, death also means regret. Die with regret and unwillingness. Don't worry, after absorbing your Ryatsu, I will challenge Baragan with your grievances. Only I, is the strongest. A frantic roar came from Neutra's mouth, and he raised his sickle, his eyes filled with contempt. At this time, despair and confession had no effect, and he was about to gain the power of Uchiha Madara. The sharp sickle was getting bigger and bigger in Uchiha Madara's eyes, and when his life was about to come to an end, a child's voice broke the silence. Neutra, stop it. This sound is as beautiful as a silver bell, like the beautiful sound of an angel from heaven, but it is also incompatible with this world. The moment he heard this sound, Neutra's brow furrowed, and he looked back displeasedly, behaving extremely impatiently. Uchiha Madaro looked along the source of the sound, but saw a beautiful figure. Advertisement Although the lower body is an antelope, the upper body is a human body. What shocked Uchiha Madara even more was that the mask on the figure's face was broken in half, revealing a beautiful face. semi arancarized She is vast O Lord. This thought came to Uchiha Madara's mind for the first time. That suffocating giant Ryatsu, coupled with the Arankar, undoubtedly only vast O Lord level virtual can do this step. Lake green hair, clear and moving eyes, snow white skin, full white rabbit, exquisite body. If you abandon your virtual identity, this condition is absolutely perfect. It's a pity that it is not a human being who appears in front of you, but a virtual one. Damn it, Nelly L, you guys are really lingering. Neutra didn't give him any face because of Nilla's strength, the anger in that words was obvious. Does it make sense to bully the weak while others are in danger? Nelly Ella's beautiful voice was full of anger, she was kind-hearted and didn't like to kill innocent people indiscriminately. Even the noble and powerful Vasto Lord, she never took advantage of others. Cut, don't impose your set on others casually. This is Waco Mundo, a world where the weak and the strong eat the strong. Only cruel killings will become the source of evolution. Neutra held a sharp sickle high and pointed it at Uchiha Madara and said, I should eat a weak person like him. It is natural for the weak to be beheaded by the strong. Why do you stop me? Really? I don't think you can beat him in his heyday. Advertisement Despite Uchiha Madara's scars, Nelly still sees extraordinary riots of fluctuations from him. Being an Ajichis can give Vasto Lord a sense of danger, which is extremely rare. Humph, that's just your speculation. If it weren't for your appearance, he would have been my dead soul under the sword. Only the strong can live in this world, that's enough. As he tried his best to restrain the killing intent, Neutra's arms kept shaking. Not only did he want to kill Uchiha Madara, he wanted to kill Nelly. He despises women and thinks that women are unworthy to be superior to men. For Nelly, there is only hatred from the heart. If it were not for lack of strength, Neutra would have long wanted to kill Nelly Elu. Come on, since you don't like me, kill me, Nelly El. Neutra is hind begged for death. He believed that only dying by fighting the strong would be the best relief. Boring. Nelly Elu ignored him and instead came to Uchiha Madara. She looked closely at Uchiha Madara, and then gave an innocent smile, What's your name? Uchiha Madaro looked at Nilu's clear eyes, and after a moment of silence, he said, Madara. Uchiha Madara. Nilu smiled, and a knowing smile appeared at the corner of her mouth, I can feel that you are different from other emptiness. You are not as cold and ruthless as they are, but you have a kind of latent kindness. Are you willing to be my partner? Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 40 The Shame of Neutra, Gaikia Collection 
Do you want to grow my partner? For some unknown reason, perhaps it is a rare encounter with a humanoid avatar, Nelly reached out a friendly arm to Uchiha Madara. Looking at Nilla's beautiful face, Uchiha Madara fell into a daze. It's not because of Nilla's beauty, but because there is such a kind-hearted imaginary in the exposed Hueco Mundo, which Uchiha Madara never expected. Humanity, heart. It's ironic. Sue will be more kind and innocent than human beings. Uchiha murmured. Perhaps because of too much killing and blood in this cruel world, Uchiha Madara has become accustomed to the law of the forest where the weak eat the strong. When Nilla showed human kindness and innocence, he felt a little uncomfortable. This world is too unexpected. I'm asking you something, Uchiha Madara. Nilla looked at Uchiha Madara lost in thought, and quickly awakened him with a beautiful voice. Become your partner? It's a good suggestion. But, for what purpose did you invite me to be your partner? Uchiha Madara didn't make a decision right away, but instead asked Nilu. The reason? There is no reason. Just because I think you are a kind heart who will not kill innocent people indiscriminately. Nilu smiled slightly, that charming smile seemed to add a beautiful landscape to this barren world. Advertisement. That's it, you are such a funny guy. Originally I thought Hueco Mundo had only savage emptiness, but I didn't expect you to have a purer kindness than human beings. Uchiha Madara said meaningfully. Human? Have you been to this world? When Uchiha Madara mentioned humans, Nilu suddenly realized that the breath she felt from Uchiha Madara was very similar to humans. Do not. Uchiha Madara doesn't seem to explain too much on this issue, he is more concerned about the broken Arankar tool on Nilu's beautiful face. What kind of strength is needed to be half Arankarized? Being stared at by Uchiha Madara's gaze, a blush appeared on Nilu's face. She quickly changed the subject and said, Let's go, follow me to my site. There are two other friends of mine. Um. Uchiha Madara did not refuse. As a result, he is now seriously injured, and once he is alone, he can easily be slaughtered. The identity of the second type Nilu is the powerful Vasto Lord, which is somewhat of a huge attraction for Uchiha Madara. Especially naturally, Arankar is a secret that Madara can't wait to unlock. But before that, you should absorb their power first. These are all your trophies. A touching smile appeared on Nilu's beautiful face. Although her heart is kind, it doesn't mean that she won't be a killer. Nilu still agrees with the Hueco Mundo rule. The reason why she can be kind to other virtual people is entirely based on her strong strength. If it were not for the suppression of the life level, I am afraid that Noitra would kill Uchiha Madara immediately after her. Therefore, power is the foundation of everything. Advertisement Lost power, like an ant, can only be trampled on. Lost the power, even a sinking one is inferior. Uchiha Madara was silent, he came to the bodies of the two Fender, closed his eyes, and silently absorbed all their power. The bodies of the two people were covered with a light blue fluorescence, no matter Ryatsu, memory, or abilities were absorbed by Uchiha Madara. Noitra on the side saw this scene, and the killing intent in his heart was already full of ultimate. Originally Uchiha Madara had become his dead soul under the sword, so that he could absorb the power of the three people and take a step towards Vasto Lord. However, because of Nilu's appearance, everything went into nothing. Not only did they fail to gain the power of Fender, but also Uchiha Madara's power. This is a heavy blow for Noitra. As a man who desires strength and desires to fight, this kind of shame is unbearable. With the passage of time, the power of the two of Fender poured into Uchiha Madara's body little by little. At the same time, Noitra's anger continued to rise. When the energy was completely absorbed, Noitra's anger reached its peak. Damn it, all this should belong to me. Uncontrollable anger, accompanied by a roar of exhaustion, Noitra finally started. He raised his sickle high and slashed at Uchiha Madara's back, 
but was easily blocked by Nilu. What do you want, Noitra? Advertisement. There was anger in the immature and beautiful voice, and it was obvious that Nilu was dissatisfied with Noitra's actions. Get out of the way, Nelly L. Not only will I kill him, but I will kill you. With craziness in his eyes, Noitra waved his sickle desperately. Huh, boring behavior, you just want to die. As a person who had disputes during the Minos Grande period, Nilu knew Noitra well. It is not so much to die, as to want to die vigorously in the hands of the strong. You give up, I won't fight you. If you want to challenge me, wait until the day you become Vasto Lord. Nilu shot and flew Noitra, but did not choose to shoot again. Although she could easily kill him, it didn't make any sense here. Let's go, Uchiha Madara, ignore this madman. Although it's not disgusting, Nilu doesn't want to pay attention to Noitra. She was very curious about Uchiha and wanted to unlock his secrets. Let's go. Madara holds the same mind, he longs for Arankar, longs to find himself. The two drifted away, and finally disappeared in the vast desert. Noitra looked at the place where their shadows disappeared, a vicious look appeared in his eyes. Why, a mere woman is above my head. Nelly, wait for me. One day, I will step on you and let you feel like hell. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 41 Nilu's Heartfelt Voice Advertisement Now, this is where I usually live. Following all the way, Nilu finally took Uchiha Madara to a hidden place. Appearing at the end of Uchiha Madara's field of vision is a tall building. Although it occupies a small area, it has a high-end atmosphere, which is incompatible with the surrounding deserts. Compared with Xiaolong and their stronghold, it can be described as a world. It really is Vasto Lord, who owns such a residence. Uchiha Madara had to sigh with emotion that being able to have such an atmospheric residence is a rare thing in Hueco Mundo. It's nothing, after all, I am relatively skilled in the control of Lingzi, and being able to establish such a stronghold is nothing. Nilu showed an overwhelming smile and said, I will introduce you to two other friends, Uchiha Madara. They all have the same heart as you. Companion? Are they also Vasto Lord? Uchiha Madara was puzzled. In his intuition, he thought that the person who could make Vasto Lord a companion must be Minos Grande of the same level. But Madara was wrong. Nilu is different from the others. Although she is the noble Vasto Lord, she has a kinder heart than human beings. Never killing innocents has always been Nilu's bottom line. On the contrary, those who hunt and kill the weak are Nilu's hunting targets. Pigsyu, Don de Chaka, you two come out soon, we have new friends again. Nilu's voice was as sweet as a silver bell, and when her voice entered the house, it suddenly caused a wave of fluctuations. Advertisement With a burst of rapid footsteps, two loud voices were seen coming out of the house. Master Nilu, it is said that a new friend has arrived. Pikesu looked around excitedly, but when his gaze stayed on Uchiha Madara, he showed a vigilant look. Despite the scars on Madara's body, she still showed a special temperament. This feeling will never appear on an ordinary virtual body. Ajichas. Todd Chaka also looked at Uchiha Madara vigilantly. Although Nilu said that they were not afraid of Madara's misbehavior, they could instinctively be defensive. Hey hey hey, you two don't show such moral expressions, Madara is not a bad person, don't you feel it? Nilu laughed blankly, trusting her instincts. Whenever she looked into Uchiha Madara's eyes, she always felt a sense of difference. Perhaps, this is the other lack of humanity. Nilu didn't know. The only thing she can be sure of is that Madara will not kill innocent people indiscriminately. It doesn't matter, anybody will do it instead. Madara doesn't mind being hostile. Instead, he felt curious that a powerful Ajichas would get along with two Jillians on an equal footing. 
This is enough to subvert his understanding of Hueco Mundo. Is this cruel and hell-like world with a trace of goodwill? Don't mind, because Hueco Mundo is so cruel. The two of them also reacted instinctively. Speaking of this cruel world, Nilu looked melancholy. Even if she was Vasto Lord, she couldn't change anything, she could only avoid killing the innocent as much as possible. Advertisement Let's go, I'll take you to find a place to rest. Your injury is too serious. Nilu forced a smile, and soon changed the subject. Under her leadership, the two quickly came to a spacious and bright room. Boom! Suddenly, Nilu closed the door of the room. Her expression became serious, exuding a powerful aura. Uchiha Madara, can you answer me a question? Nilu stared closely at Uchiha Madara's eyes, and asked in a cold voice, Are you really imaginary? Uchiha Madara was stunned. He really didn't expect Nilu to ask such a question. However, Madara's mind seems to have guessed something. Madara asked calmly, Why do you ask? Because I saw a unique emotional fluctuation in your eyes. That kind of feeling, I have only seen it in humans. Back then, Nilu had seen a scene in this world. When she looked into the eyes of human beings, she read a lot of information. Even if there are treacherous, deceitful, arrogant, but more innocence and kindness. All in all, that is the look of love in the eyes. The imaginary of Waco Mundo is different. Bloody, cruel, and cruel. Therefore, apart from Paixu and Don Kaka, this is the most human-like look in Nilu's eyes. Humans. Have you seen humans? As if feeling something, Madara's eyes became serious. Advertisement. Nilu nodded, yes, I have seen human beings. And you don't feel like a virtual person, but a human being in armor. Void. I have never considered myself to be void. You are right. I was a human being. Even with a void body, I am still a human being. Uchiha Madara continued, Just like you want to know who I am, I have something to ask you, Nelly L. Nila questioned, What do you mean? Natural Arankar. That's it, you want to find your original self. At this moment, Nilu finally confirmed the identity of Uchiha Madara. No wonder Madara has a temperament similar to that of a human. Because he is a human being. It's a pity that even I can't be fully Arankar. Nilu sighed. Although she had tried, she couldn't complete Arankar completely. Apart from having more powerful abilities, she couldn't complete Arankar completely. So that's it? I understand. Uchiha Madara did not struggle too much with this matter. Even relying on his own strength, he imagined that one day he could Arankar and find himself back. But, Nilo continued, in Hueco Mundo, another person completed his own Arankar. Who is it? Lonely Wolf King, Star K. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement. Chapter 42 is about to happen. Gaikyu Collection. Advertisement. Lonely Wolf, Star K. Uchiha Madara frowned slightly, and for some reason he always felt different when he heard the name. Star K is the most powerful imaginary I have encountered, even, even stronger than Baragan's riot suit. When talking about Star K, even Nilu's eyes contained a touch of jealousy. Better than Baragan. Uchiha Madara's eyes flickered, and it seemed that the mystery of Hueco Mundo was beyond her imagination. However, it is precisely because Ryatsu is too powerful that there is no imaginary that can stay with Star K for a long time. Since Ryatsu cannot be held, most of the imaginary will gradually turn into bones. Gradually, the word companion is for Star K. It's already out of reach. Nilu regretfully said, it's a pity, maybe the strong are destined to be alone. Are you alone? Uchiha Madara murmured. He could feel the loneliness of Star K. In the ninja world, 
apart from Senju Hashirama, Uchiha Madara had no other friends. The relationship of equality is always based on equality of strength, and apart from Senju Hashirama, no one in the entire ninja world deserves Madara's respect. Over time, this feeling of loneliness gradually accompanied Uchiha Madara. But. Advertisement. Loneliness and fetters always follow. Once you get used to loneliness, you will cherish the fetters you have. This is why Madara values Senju Hashirama. Because the two are not only opponents, but also partners, they represent fetters. You are relieved to heal your wounds, do you have a purpose afterwards? Nilu smiled slightly and changed the subject. However, Madara's answer was beyond her expectation. Soul Society A few simple words represent unparalleled self-confidence. You know, for most of Waco Mundo, Soul Society is a forbidden place. It's not that Su couldn't reach Soul Society, but because Su didn't dare to go to Soul Society. In this world, Shinigami's duty is to preserve the essence of the virtual soul, maintaining the balance between reality, soul society, and Waco Mundo. If Su breaks into Waco Mundo without authorization, Shinigami will surely kill him. Do you really insist on going to soul society? Although Nilu had seen everything in Uchiha Madara's eyes, she still wanted to persuade Madara. Even with her strength, she still didn't dare to break into soul society without authorization. If it was Madara, it would undoubtedly be moths fighting the fire. Is it really worth it? Without explaining too much, Uchiha Madara was silent. As a man who once stood at the top of Shinobi, he naturally wouldn't be afraid. What's more important is that although Waco Mundo is a world of the weak and the strong, it is full of primitiveness and barbarism. Such a world, even after years of precipitation, will never grow to a certain height. Moreover, the scenes witnessed in Waco Mundo reminded Uchiha Madara of the battlefield of the ninja world. Su is like a ninja, just a small piece of dust in the Uzumaki of war, which is worthless at all. Such a world makes Madara very disgusted. The atmosphere was silent, and even the sound of breathing was clearly audible. Advertisement Nelly Elu took a deep look at Madara, then turned and left the room. It's hard to find a humanity imaginary, but will soon be parting. What a pity. On the other side, there is a pile of sand somewhere in Waco Mundo. The landform here has completely changed, and it is the place where Uchiha Madara and Fender fought. Brush. Suddenly, two figures appeared on the sand. Damn, let Grim Joe escape. Escaped? Are you kidding me? If he was really desperate, the two of us would have died long ago. If Uchiha Madara is present, these two voices will definitely be familiar. Charlotte Kuruwind, Abira Malda. Before, the two of them were responsible for hunting down Grimjo, but in the end they returned without success, but they were scarred and almost died in the hands of the Leopard King. It's damn it. You must kill Grimjo next time, otherwise it's hard to vent your anger. Avila Malata panted heavily, her anger hard to dissipate. It's just that when he saw the bloodline on the sand, his heart sank. This blood, couldn't it belong to Fender and the others? Advertisement Charlotte Kurafun opened her eyes wide in surprise, with a look of horror on her face. Although he thinks that the strength of Fender is not as good as himself, he is also the top master in the Sui Palace. Didn't expect the two to be killed like this. Really, really them. Because of being too surprised, Avira Malda's voice even became trembling. He felt the familiar riot so fluctuations from the bloodline on the sand. The two looked at each other, and a thought came to mind at the same time. Fender and they were killed by Uchiha Madara. Damn it, it was killed. Is this provoking the majesty of the Sui Palace? Charlotte Kurafeng's face was gloomy. As the saying goes, hitting a dog depends on the owner. Although the two of Fender can only be regarded as small roles in Waco Mundo, they are Barragan's most loyal followers. 
even the ruthless king of Hueco Mundo will be thunderous and angry. Charlotte Curifan and Avira Malda had cold sweat on their foreheads, and they seemed to be able to imagine the anger of the skeleton king. Your Majesty must be informed about this. A newly born Ajichas dare to challenge the majesty of Your Majesty. There was hardly any hesitation, the two figures instantly disappeared on the sand. Just after the two of them disappeared, Neutra walked out of a shadow. He looked at the sky in the distance, and muttered in a low voice, Neli Elu, Uchiha Madara, soon you will know what it is like to despair. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 43 The Wrath of the Skeleton Emperor, Gaikia Collection Advertisement The hazy night sky is accompanied by a desperate night. In the depths of Hueco Mundo, there is a suffocating silence that symbolizes power and sacredness. In the center of the Sui Palace, on the towering throne, endless majesty radiated from the body on the throne. That seemingly inconspicuous figure is the king who controls this sky. The king of Hueco Mundo, the king of skeletons. Barragan Luzan Bairn. There was no movement in Nota's palace, and even the breathing of the Minos Grande was clearly audible. Being oppressed by Barragan's coercion, the Minos Grande below shivered unexpectedly, and their eyes were full of horror. That is a kind of fear born from the precipitation of time, and it is also a kind of irresistible fear. Fear is a disease. Once conquered by it, it will crawl into your soul, and it has tarnished your inner peace. This kind of unforgettable fear, like a nightmare, exists deep in all Minos Grand's heart, lingering. Well. Barragan let out a heavy anger, which suddenly broke the silence like thunder. Out of an instinctive reaction, all Sue raised their heads at this moment, and cast their fearful and fanatical gazes on the king skeleton on the throne. Charlotte Kurafin, Avira Malda, I already understand what you two said. The seemingly calm and ruthless words, but with a bit of unknown anger. Just like the eve of the storm, it is always so peaceful. Advertisement The expressions of Charlotte Kuruwind and Avira Malda changed in shock. Facing the roar of Skeleton Emperor, they didn't dare to raise their heads at all, for fear of offending the mold at this time. It's just that even silence makes their hearts full of fear. Facing the risk of death, Charlotte Kurafun finally spoke, Your Majesty, according to our investigation along the way, the direction of Ajichas named Uchiha Madara's escape is exactly the territory controlled by Nelly. Nelly. Barragan's words were full of surprises. As the king of Hueco Mundo, he naturally knows Nilu's strength. The same as Vasto Lord, although Nilu's strength is not comparable to him, she is also one of the top powerhouses in Hueco Mundo. Even Skeleton King has a bit of fear, Vasto Lord, how can he get involved with a newly born Ajichas? How is this going? A bit less anger, more doubts, and it was clear that Barragan's anger subsided. Although Fender is one of his most loyal subordinates, they are only two Jillians with good strength after all, and they are a thousand miles away from Vasto Lord. Choosing to conflict with Vasto Lord for the two Jillians is not a wise choice. In fact, even though Barragan is the king of Hueco Mundo, there are still many Minos Grande who do not obey his rule. And there is no shortage of top-notch powerhouses in these nail-like existences. Nelly, Haribal, Ulquira. Even if Barragan has the power of aging, he is not sure to deal with them at the same time. Therefore, Emperor Skull can only open one eye and close one eye, without interfering with each other. Your Majesty, whether it's Bloodline or Ryatsu, it shows that Nelly L saved the Ajichas. Charlotte Kolofen wiped a cold sweat for fear that the Skeleton King would blame it. However, contrary to his expectation, Barragan not only did not have the slightest anger, but also behaved very calmly. Nelly. The deep voice is like the death knell, constantly floating in this empty palace. Heaviness, depression, despair, deathly silence. When the Minos Grande below heard this sound, 
their bodies couldn't help shaking, as if experiencing fear from the depths of their souls. Guru Charlotte Kurafin swallowed heavily, not daring to make a sound. After following Baragan for decades, he knew that only when the skeleton emperor was angry to ultimate, he would be so calm. Perhaps something big will happen to Hueco Mundo. When darkness swept across the sky, when the sky full of stars was shrouded by night, then it foreshadows that under this sky, endless anger is breeding. The anger of Emperor Skeleton will eventually spread like an irresistible torrent to every corner of Hueco Mundo. Let's go. Although time does not exist for me. But it is a good choice to find interesting things in such a boring day. Click. Two white bone arms were placed on the skeleton throne, and the figure that made countless imaginary gods finally got up. Advertisement. This is the first time in decades that Baragan has voluntarily left the throne. Whether it is Niluelu or Uchiha Madara, once offending the gods, how can they be forgiven so easily? There was a crazy killing intent in those dark eyes. The majestic riot gushes out of Baragan's body, sweeping across all directions like a vast ocean. Feeling this unspeakable horror riot Suk, Minos Grande were both fearful and excited. It is precisely because of following the strong and following the power that they will surrender to Baragan. That fascinating power is like a bright navigation light in the dark night, guiding them forward in the sea of blood and sin. On the other side, far away from the Sui Palace, that secret stronghold. Thanks to the ability of high-speed regeneration, Uchiha Madara's injuries gradually recovered. After going through battles one after another, not only did he increase his power, but he even became more proficient in Ryatsu's control. More importantly, absorbing the power of the two offender, his Ryatsu became stronger. Noitra. He whispered the name in his mouth, but a strong killing intent flashed in his eyes. Had it not been for serious injuries and provocation of this level, Uchiha Madara would have killed Noitra long ago. But Uchiha Madara found a surprise. As his strength increased, his pupil power also gradually increased. As long as there is an opportunity, the pair of three Tomo Sherinan can evolve into Mangekyo Sherinan. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 44 The Moment Before Death Advertisement Mangekyo Sherinan is a watershed and a threshold that a Uchiha tribe must cross to become a truly strong man. Different people have different Mangekyo Sherinan forms and their abilities are also different. Time and Space Ninjutsu, Tsukuyomi, Amaterasu, Kamui, etc., it can be said that each pair of Mangekyo Sherinan has terrible abilities. With the enhancement of Ryatsu, Uchiha Madara felt that pupil power has gradually increased. It seems that due to the fact that Rinnegan had been turned on, his eyes no longer need to break through evolution, and only need to continuously improve Ryatsu to naturally break through. I don't know what kind of abilities you will have after you turn on Mangekyo Sherinan. Uchiha Madara closed his eyes, and he faintly felt that after rebirth, these eyes seemed to have become unusual, as if they had more powerful abilities. This special body also seems to be different. Perhaps it has evolved into the highest form, and after turning on Mangekyo Sherinan, can he use Suzanu's abilities again? Madara didn't know, and didn't need to know. The only thing he has to do is to keep getting stronger. Kill, devour, evolve. As time passed, he seemed to have gradually adapted to the rules of this world. Fighting is the only theme, killing is the eternal style. The cruelty of Hueco Mundo, the ruthlessness of fighting, and the swallowing reality made the dark night sky reveal a desperate silence. As if the night never ends, as if the battle never ends. But, no matter how long the night is, day will always come, and power is the only light that illuminates the night. The spacious room was silent again, and even breathing was easily audible. Thanks to the ability of high-speed regeneration, even if he was seriously injured, he quickly recovered from his injuries. 
After an all-night rest, Uchiha Madara's injuries gradually healed, and even Ryatsu almost recovered. Advertisement However, the disaster that can't be escaped is after all. A hurried knock on the door broke the tranquil atmosphere. Uchiha Madara frowned slightly, but when he opened the door, he saw Paixu and Don Chaka. Only through the first observation, Uchiha Madara saw a panic in their eyes, and even a panic. Uchiha Madara, hurry up and leave here with us. Before he could explain too much, Paixu said breathlessly. Uchiha Madara calmly said, Why? Barigan, king of Hueco Mundo, they are about to come. Speaking of Barigan's name, Paixu and Don Kaka's faces were pale. They were thunderous for the evil name of Skeleton Emperor, and even Master Nilu didn't dare to provoke Barigan, let alone their little ones. Barigan? Isn't he in the Void Knight Palace? Why did he suddenly appear? Could it be that our whereabouts were exposed? Although he guessed the reason at the first time, Uchiha Madara not only did not panic at all, but had a kind of expectation. He wanted to see what kind of power the legendary king of Hueco Mundo has. In the hall, four people gathered. Nilu looked at Uchiha Madara and smiled, it seems that your physique is more special than I thought, and you recovered from your injury overnight. In this way, the situation is not pessimistic at all. I can feel a huge riot zoo approaching. Apart from Barigan, no one dares to blatantly distribute riot zoo in Hueco Mundo. So we have the last chance. Nilu paused and sighed, let's escape, only escape is the only way to survive. Although Nilu is also Vasto Lord, she is still not sure about Barigan. After all, being able to become the king of Hueco Mundo not only relies on the majestic riot suit, but more importantly, the aging ability. Advertisement To control aging is to control time and to control immortality. Escape? Where can I escape? A curve of disdain appeared at the corner of Uchiha Madara's mouth. For him, there is no concept of escape, only fighting is the only way to survive. Nilu shook her head and said solemnly, on the edge of Hueco Mundo, near the boundary wall, there may be a disaster there. Even he will not easily venture into the Black Tone. This is our only chance. Black Cavity The Black Cavity is the channel formed by the virtual tearing space, and it also becomes the boundary. Without explaining too much, Nilu took Uchiha Madara and the three of them to leave. On the other side, Hueco Mundo somewhere. Um, did you run away? It's really whimsical. Wearing a crown and a luxurious black robe. Even though Barigan only has a human-sized figure, he exudes a terrifying riot so that makes the entire Hueco Mundo tremble. Like a lion patrolling a group of lions, like a king inspecting a knight. Wherever the king of Hueco Mundo went, everything shivered. Leaving Suya Palace? Do not. For Barigan, every place under the sky is the Void Palace. Only he is the eternal master of Hueco Mundo. Your Majesty, the direction they flee seems to be the boundary. Advertisement Charlotte Kurafeng's face was gloomy, he naturally guessed that Niluth was planning. It's okay, wouldn't it be more fun to throw them into the realm and let Jutu swallow it up? Although Barragan's words sounded an understatement, they contained a chilling horror. Barragan's crown kept shining in the wind, as if proclaiming the majesty of the king of Hueco Mundo. As time goes by, the pace of death is getting closer. The edge of Hueco Mundo. Oops, Barragan actually came. Nilu's face changed in shock. She didn't expect Barragan to put down the shelf of the king of Hueco Mundo and come here in person. The situation seems to be getting worse. Suddenly, a riot so that made the sky tremble appeared, and even Uchiha Madara was surprised. This was the first time he felt the almost condensed horror riot so. The king of Hueco Mundo, has he finally arrived? Uchiha Madara groaned in a low voice, without fear in his eyes. On the contrary, Paixu and Don Kaka were panicked, 
and even felt suffocated under this powerful riot suit. Nelly, Uchiha Madara, do you think I won't show up if I escape here? Along with a voice from hell, Barragan's voice appeared. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 45 Gods There is no such thing. Advertisement Uchiha Madara, Nelly, we finally meet. The gloomy low voice revealed a desperate coldness, and Barragan floated in the air, like a wandering ghost, and like Lord and who rules the darkness. Barragan. Nelly Allo gritted her teeth and said every word. Even though she is vast O Lord, she still feels invisible oppression when facing the king of Hueco Mundo. Never let go, otherwise the consequences will be disastrous. Nilu fixed her gaze on Barragan, beware of his every move. An opponent at Barragan's level can easily be killed if he doesn't pay attention. This gaze, is more of fear than vigilance. Isn't it? Nelly. Barragan's voice is indifferent and unforgiving. If it's a non-emotional species, if he were a human being, he would have gotten goosebumps all over his body, that kind of creepy feeling would be unforgettable forever. Years of accumulation have given Barragan an invisible aura. The Emperor's Haki. There is an invisible aura between raising hands and feet, deterring this sky. He is the one and only king, the master of Hueco Mundo. It is also an invincible god. Advertisement. You are the king of Hueco Mundo, Barragan. In the face of Barragan's momentum, Uchiha Madara not only was not affected at all, but the corners of his mouth were curved. As it happens, Uchiha Madara, who has the form of Suzu, has some similarities with Barragan. The same humanoid figure, the same skeleton body, and even a comparable haki. Um, this momentum. Even though Barragan's eyes were hollow, he still felt a little surprised by it. For some reason, when he looked into Uchiha Madara's eyes, he felt like he was facing each other. That kind of arrogant eyes will never appear on a newly born Ajichas. Unless. Uchiha Madara has long awakened spiritually and has the potential to transform into Vasto Lord. It's really interesting. No wonder you dare to kill Fender, you have the potential to become Vasto Lord. If you let you continue to evolve, once you become Vasto Lord, I am afraid that even I will not be a threat to you. But. Barragan's voice paused, his eyes became extremely fierce, and a shock of Ryatsu came out of him. The mighty Ryatsu was condensed into substance, and the sky seemed to be raining heavily. The dark night sky, heavy gray rain. Sticky, heavy, and dull. There was an uncomfortable atmosphere in the air, and the biting cold wind made people feel desperate. In a short time, Barragan's aura reached its peak, causing Nilu and the others to have an unmatched illusion. Advertisement It doesn't matter who you are or what abilities you have. Under my abilities, everyone is equal. Barragan flipped his backhand, and a huge double-edged axe appeared in his hand. The sharp axe blade reflects the cold moonlight, which adds a bit of murderous air to him invisibly. If you dare to oppose the Emperor, you will turn into dust and regret slowly. Barragan raised the axe to destroy the world fiercely, and his strong spiritual power turned into a slash, slashing down like lightning. Oops, you guys get out of the way. Nilu's heart sank, and even her heart was shocked by the slash. In a hurry, Nilu easily placed Pikesu and Donkaka on the shoulders and rescued them both. At this moment, Nilu witnessed a scene that stunned her. I saw Uchiha Madara take a step forward, and even displayed a sound that was not inferior to her, and easily avoided the slash. Not only that, Uchiha Madara even launched a counter-attack. Fire style, the fire is gone. A hot flame spit out from his mouth, instantly enveloping Barragan's body. Zi zi zi. The flames burned, and the surrounding temperature suddenly rose sharply, but it suppressed Barragan's aura. The ability of the flame, the skillful ringing. 
Nilu looked at Uchiha Madara's back with a little surprise. She did not expect that Madara's strength was far beyond her imagination. With these two capabilities alone, Uchiha Madara has the capital of rampant Hueco Mundo. It's terrible, Master Nilu, let's run quickly, it's impossible to be his opponent. Paixiu was panting, feeling undecided. If it hadn't been for Ni to show her hand to the rescue, he would have been split in half long ago. Advertisement Yeah, run quickly, Lord Nilu. If he were killed so easily, he wouldn't be the king of Hueco Mundo. What we faced was not just a vasto lord, but a god. Don Kaka's face turned blue, and his body was trembling unceasingly. He is just a tiny Jillian. When did he ever think about playing against the king of Hueco Mundo, this is simply a fantasy. Looking at the two people who were almost scared to pee, Nilu sighed helplessly, but when she was about to speak, she was interrupted by Uchiha Madara. God! Really ridiculous! There is no such thing in this world. All gods are just means of deception. Besides, don't be afraid of being deceived, because this world is built on deception. Uchiha Madara's momentum is like a rainbow, and a touch of contempt emerges in his eyes. Whether it is the king of Hueco Mundo or the god of Hueco Mundo, it is just a deception born under succumbing to power. Fear the intangible because of the power, and fear the intangible because of the power. Then. The frightened heart trembled. Well. Accompanied by an angry roar, the blazing flame was instantly extinguished, and a desperate riot so swept across all directions like a torrent of steel. The flame went out, revealing Barragan's face. Nearly half of that luxurious black robe was destroyed by the flames, and even Barragan's white bones had some black scorch marks. Obviously, even the king of Hueco Mundo was traumatized by the fire. Damn it, it caused me to suffer this kind of injury. I can't spare you little ants. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 46 The Unresistible Breath of Death Advertisement The ants of damn it dare to hurt me. Unparalleled anger surged into his heart, and Barragan no longer had the aura of a king, but fell into a state of rampage. He, who has always regarded himself as a god, would be hurt by a tiny Ajitches. I couldn't swallow this breath anyway. Unforgivable, absolutely unforgivable, do you know who you are provoking against? It's really irresponsible. Barragan roared, his eyes full of murderous intent. He held up the axe of destroying the world, as if to split the world. At this moment, Barragan is unmatched. However, even so, he was ridiculed by Uchiha Madara. The god of Waco Mundo? You are wrong. Is your irritable and childish appearance any different from other virtual things? For the skeleton emperor, Uchiha Madara did not have the slightest respect, but rather cold-eyed. In his opinion, there is no difference between the ugly and huge riot Subaragan and the nine big tails of ninja. So, are you laughing at me? Barragan's face was gloomy and suddenly became calm. But everyone knows that this is just the calm before the storm. Suddenly, Barragan raised his head suddenly and let out a deafening roar. The roar went straight into the sky, seeming to penetrate the entire sky. Oh ha 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 ha! Barragan lifted up those two sullen bone fingers, and said coldly, Tiny, so small, you are insignificant at all. Overpowering fellow, do you know who you are telling you about your imaginary behavior? Advertisement I am the Skeleton King, the god of Hueco Mundo, Barragan Luzenbairn. Whether it is a Jitches or Vasto Lord, the difference and strength between you are insignificant. Will and freedom, birds and beasts and vegetation, moon, stars, Sunday. All are insignificant. In this world, only my power is unique and absolute. Everything else is trivial. Barragan squeezed the axe tightly, and his figure disappeared instantly. It's almost the final ring. Rewind. 
This time even Nilla couldn't keep calm, because even she couldn't perceive Baragan's whereabouts. Oh my god, it's too late. Achiha Madara, he. Don Kaka opened his eyes in panic, and spoke intermittently. Looking in the direction of his fingers, he could see that Baragan's figure had appeared behind Uchiha Madara. Brush. With an unrelenting axe, he slashed at the waist of Uchiha Madara's body. Oh my god, Uchiha Madara was split in half. Pikesu screamed, her feet soft and trembling. Baragan squeezed the axe of the world, and said angrily, this is the end of the fight against the emperor. The ants should die with repentance. Just as Baragan was about to swing his axe again, his face suddenly changed. Huh? What's the matter? Baragan could feel that the Uchiha Madara in his eyes did not show any signs of riot so fluctuations, more like an illusion. Advertisement. Boom. The Uchiha Madara who was slashed by the axe of the world raised a weird smile, which immediately turned into a thick white mist and dissipated everywhere. The white mist was filled, but Uchiha Madara was missing, which made the skeleton king very angry. Your ability to control the flames and cast illusions at the same time is really amazing. But, these are all just bugs. Even if you hide like a bug, you can't change the shackles of fate. Baragan swung the axe of the world angrily, and instantly set off a storm of violent sand mixed with riot su, and the entire sand pile was raised to the ground in an instant, and there was no place to hide. Wow! Shwepe and Dong de Chaka were pale, almost out of breath. If it hadn't been for Nilu to stand in front of them, she would have suffocated and died under the majestic riot su. Huh, Baragan, don't kill innocent people for so-called excuses. With her life threatened, Nilu finally chose to shoot. She put the double-headed javelin flat in front of her, and quickly condensed a strong riot suit. Siro. The pink Siro blasted out instantly, blasting straight towards Baragan's back. Huh. Are you impatient too, Nelly? Baragan didn't even turn around, just swiping the axe easily to bounce Siro away. With a bang, the pink Siro smashed a huge hole in the desert, but couldn't hurt Baragan's hair. Even Vasto Lord has a power gap. In this case, it will become much more interesting, right? Suddenly, Uchiha Madara's figure appeared right in front of Baragan, his hands were imprinted, and he performed ninjutsu. Advertisement. Earth style earth flows big river. Water style whip. Lightning style angry thunder tiger. Fire style. Extinguish the fire. Wind style, a thousand faces wind. Uchiha Madara instantaneously seals, five kinds of ninjutsu with completely different attributes are instant, flocking to Baragan from all directions, and all this only happens between the flare stones. How is it possible? There are four other abilities besides flame. How terrible is his talent? Nilu's heart turned up against the stormy sea, and even though she had lived in Hueco Mundo for so long, she had never seen a void possessing multiple abilities at the same time. Not only Nilu, but even Baragan was stunned. He suddenly discovered that Uchiha Madara was like a bottomless pit, never seen through. The more so, the greater the threat. He must be killed, otherwise. At this moment, Baragan was truly murderous. Seeing the five ninjutsu approaching closer, Baragan was indifferent, and instead let out a wild laugh with disdain. Humble ants, why do you think that this method can defeat me? My ability is above everything, even beyond the world, the unique ability aging. The power to compete against each other, there is no so-called equality. Look, this is the power that gods have, the unmatched power. You ants, despair under the power of aging. Baragan opened his mouth and exhaled a long sigh full of death. The breath of death. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement. Chapter 47 Death is also a new life, Gaikia Collection. Advertisement. The breath of death. 
The black energy swept across the four directions like mountains and oceans, and whenever this energy crossed, it carried a decadent aura of death. It is as if everything is withering and all beings die. Barragan was enveloped in black energy, and his breath rose to the peak. Although the five attribute ninjutsu seemed powerful, it didn't make Barragan's eyes on him. Being strong, not as good as his aging. All things are decayed, and life is wiped out. Aging is the real power of God. How so? Uchiha Madara's face changed slightly, and he could feel a deadly breath from the black energy. If you accidentally get a little bit on it, I'm afraid it will pay a heavy price. The power Barragan possessed seemed to exceed his imagination. Something that shocked Uchiha Madara even more happened. Wherever Barragan walked, the sand dunes collapsed, seeming to be overwhelmed by a force of death. Seeing this scene, Uchiha Madara suddenly recalled what Barragan said before, only his power can dominate everything. What I control is aging, no matter what it is, as long as it gets close to me, it will continue to age and eventually die. Barragan raised his palm to Uchiha Madara and said in a cold voice, The same is true for you, Uchiha Madara. Advertisement The Breath of Death A cloud of black energy spread from Barragan's palm, spreading toward the place where Uchiha Madara was at an unimaginable speed. A shadow fell over Uchiha Madara's heart. He nodded his hands and shouted angrily, The fire style is gone. The powerful and powerful hell flames spit out from Uchiha Madara's mouth. The fire was raging and burning. However, the result is still not satisfactory. The scorching flame was still like a drop in the bucket, and disappeared at the moment of exposure to the black energy. The unequal power is fully manifested at this time. Uchiha Madara rewind. If you get that kind of energy, you will definitely die. Nilu's face was pale. Although she hadn't fought there again, she was very acquainted with the power of aging. There have been countless false and tragic deaths under the aging force, decayed, closed, and tragic deaths. Oops, this kind of power is incomprehensible. Even Uchiha Madara feels tricky. If he has Rinnegan, he might be able to block the breath of death. But the mere three Tomo Sherry non can do nothing at all. Zi zi zi. The black energy is lightning fast, even if Uchiha Madara reacts in advance, he cannot escape erosion. At this critical moment, Uchiha Madara slapped a backhand, and a thick water barrier rose out of thin air. However, there is no use for eggs. The seemingly thick water wall is like a fragile white paper before the breath of death. Just by virtue of this gap, Uchiha Madara escaped the first attack of death breath. It's a terrifying ability, no wonder it can dominate Hueco Mundo. Uchiha Madara frowned, no matter how arrogant he was, he had to admit that the power of aging was too terrifying, and even a little bit would instantly turn into bones. Advertisement Nelly, trying to fight me in vain, your fate is the same. Brush Barragan's figure suddenly appeared beside Pikesu and Don Kaka. When was he? Pikesu's words have not been spoken yet, and his body is out of control and twisted for a while. With willpower, I can age your bones with just one touch. Barragan was expressionless, what he did, as if pinching an ant to death. Wipe the card. Affected by the broken bones, Pikesu wailed in pain and broke his limbs. Don Chaka came to Barragan's body, and before touching his body, he was struck by a huge axe. The flesh was flawed and even the internal organs were exposed. Whenever they approached Barragan, their body slowed down uncontrollably. In terms of fundamental injuries, this is an unequal battle, and it is also a battle without suspense. I can't understand, right? Death is like that. From this moment on, you will all die under the power of aging. Farewell, two tiny ants. Barragan raised his axe and slashed at the two of them. Stop, Barragan. With a ringing, Nilu appeared in front of the two of them instantly, with a double-headed javelin, 
barely blocking the slash of the axe of the world. Clang. With a crisp sound, the ground where Nilu was on collapsed. Her face was pale and she was struggling to support her, and the gap in strength made her too difficult. Advertisement. It's a terrible ability, but the outcome is uncertain. Uchiha Madara appeared behind Bear again, and the Ryatsu in his body quickly condensed into a thunder sword, which pierced Baragan's back sharply. Huh, little bugs. Baragan snorted and exhaled another breath of death. Z-I-Z-I-Z-I. The same result, the thunder sword formed by Ryatsu was corroded by the breath of death. At that speed beyond imagination, despair was revealed all the time. Not only that, because of the close proximity, this time Uchiha Madara did not escape the breath of death. Oh no. Uchiha Madara's eyes flickered, and he could only watch the breath of death gradually expand in his eyes, but there was no time to escape. Approaching, approaching, approaching gradually. The black energy is finally amplified. Human beings can hold hope because they can't see death. However, this time Uchiha Madara finally experienced the feeling of death. It is impossible for light to shine everywhere but where there is light, there must be darkness. Darkness struck, death came. Under the desperate gaze, the breath of death is about to corrode the mask. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 48 Despair Advertisement Approaching, approaching in desperate eyes. With a sigh of death and despair, just like the shackles that cannot be avoided. Call out. At this critical moment, the three Tomo Sherinan in the center of Uchiha Madara's pupils turned quickly, and a mysterious pupil power radiated from it. Illusion. At this moment, Barragan's eyes fell into dullness, as if in an endless illusion. The breath of death that was originally controlled by him happened to pause in the air. Uchiha Madara survived the disaster, he was less than one meter away from death. Ringing. Almost in one go, Uchiha Madara's figure appeared in the back for an instant, pulling a distance from Baragan. The current pupil power is not enough to confuse him for a long time. Uchiha Madara looked at Baragan solemnly, and only after playing against each other would he appreciate the trickiness of the king of Hueco Mundo. Damn it, it turned out to be an illusion. Baragan roared. With a tenacious will he finally broke free from the shackles of illusion, but it made him angry. The dignified king of Hueco Mundo was actually played with illusion, which was beyond bearable. You ant, dare to despise the majesty of the emperor. Advertisement With a roar of endless hatred, black energy gushed out of Baragan's body like an ocean. Under Baragan's deliberate control, the breath of death converged into a majestic wave, crushing toward Uchiha Madara like a black cloud. Since you are not afraid of death, then I will let you experience something more desperate than death. Baragan's harsh voice was creepy. He deliberately controlled the breath of death to form a gradually shrinking wall, gradually pushing back Uchiha Madara's back road. Death in Shinigami's hands is the greatest punishment for you. Baragan raised the axe of the world and slashed it violently. A slash composed of riots so cut through the air in an instant, and slashed towards Uchiha Madara fiercely. This level of slash, not enough to hurt me. Although in trouble, Uchiha didn't panic at all. Instead, he escaped Baragan slash with three Tomo Sherinan. But, this scene happened to be what Baragan wanted to see. Boom. Under Baragan's deliberate control, he slashed through the space. Suddenly a black voice appeared behind Uchiha Madara. The humble ant is not only the Void Knight Palace, but even this sky. Every inch of Hueco Mundo is mine. And you will die in soul society with despair and humbleness. Baragan raised the palm of his skeleton to Uchiha Madara and shook it away. The majestic breath of death turned into a sharp blade to stab Uchiha Madara. At this time, there are only two choices before Uchiha Madara. The first is a positive breath of death, 
but the consequences are self-evident. The second is to be forced out of the black tone, but to face the obliteration of stubbornness. All in all, both options are a lifetime of death. Uchiha Madara Advertisement Nili yelled anxiously from behind. Since Barragan's body was enveloped by the breath of death, there was nothing she could do about it. Humph, I have no idea I was forced to this level. There was no anger, no regret, only the peace as always. Even in desperation, Uchiha Madara remained calm and composed. Boundary. So what? If you don't come to the end, how can you know what kind of surprise there will be at the end? Perhaps this is an opportunity to open another door. Even if it's soul society, it's okay even if it's rushing, the only regret is that it failed to kill you, the king of Hueco Mundo. Uchiha Madara took a deep look at Barragan, a flash of cold killing intent flashed in his eyes. Just when the breath of death was about to invade his body, Madara finally made a decision. Uchiha Madara stepped out and was forced to step into the black. From now on he will stay away from Hueco Mundo until the moment he is able to return for revenge. But that day will not be too far away, because this man is Uchiha Madara who once stood at the top of Ninja World. Some hatred will always be remembered, even if it has been buried for a long time and destroyed, it is destined to float in the heart again, like a phoenix nirvana. Once the flames of hatred are rekindled again, the ending will definitely be suffocating. Stabbed. As Uchiha Madara's figure was completely submerged in the black cavity, the huge space gap was completely closed. Nilu looked melancholy at the place where Uchiha Madara's figure disappeared. For some reason, she felt an inexplicable sense of loss in her heart. Maybe it's because it is difficult to meet a guy with a heart. Barragan, you fellow. Nilu gritted her teeth, and Asiro rushed towards Barragan's back but was blocked by the breath of death. Advertisement Huh, this is the ending he deserves. It's just a newly born Ajiches, who dares to provoke the god of Hueco Mundo. Even if he can escape the chase and kill of the hustle and bustle, even if he arrives in the soul society, he can hardly escape. Zanpakuto who passed Shinigami. However, you too, deserve to be punished. Barragan raised the axe of world destruction and slashed towards Nilu, but was blocked by a figure. Why kill each other, isn't it a perfect thing to have a partner? This voice contains indescribable loneliness, a kind of longing for companionship. Starke. Barragan retracted the axe of the world in fear, and did not choose to shoot again. Although he has never played against each other, Barragan can feel that Starcase Ryatsu is even stronger than him. Without the certainty of victory, Barragan would not be stupid enough to deal with two Vasto lords at the same time. Huh, I will spare you this time, Nelly L. Barragan snorted and left with his men. Originally, he and Nilu didn't have a deep hatred, so he didn't risk losing both sides. After Barragan left, the atmosphere of tranquility regained. Star K was silent as he stared at Nilu, whose eyes were dim. He could feel the emotions of loss and guilt in those clear eyes. Do you think he will survive? Nilu spoke suddenly, breaking the silence. Perhaps, maybe Soul Society is the best place for him. Star K looked up at Hanyu and sighed softly. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 49, Survival from a Desperate Situation, Soul Society, Gaikia Collection Advertisement Boundary The moving dark space is invisible to the end like an abyss. In the memory like a nightmare. Escape, only a desperate escape can save lives. Once you stop, death will come. Suddenly, something that does not exist in theory. Without Ryatsu, there is no sign of life. No matter what means, it can't be done, even Ryatsu. Woo 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 woo. Ju 2 is like a rampaging beast, arbitrarily moving forward in the dark passage. Every step forward, 
the baptism of death will accelerate. In front of the huge juju, Uchiha Madara's figure is so small and fragile, as if it will be shattered as long as it is easily crushed. No matter how powerful ninjutsu is, no matter how powerful Ryatsu is, it will not stop Jutu, even for a moment. Except for fleeing, you can only meet death. Fleeing, constantly fleeing. This is the only belief. The dawn of hope is at the end of the passage, almost within reach but difficult to capture. Because. Jutu has caught up. Advertisement. The figure representing the destruction was constantly enlarged in the eyes, the dawn dissipated, and hope disappeared. Is there really no choice but death? Do not. And that strong desire to survive. If you want to change the world, you must first have an unwavering belief and continue to strengthen your own strength. A guy who is too weak can only talk about it, and he can't change anything at all. It's ironic, is it finally my turn to become that weak? Uchiha Madara muttered in a low voice, and a dazzling light burst out from his dimming eyes. In a moment of despair, the unimaginable Ryatsu burst out of Uchiha Madara's body, and the blazing light illuminates the dark passage. Under the shining light of hope, the seemingly endless passage finally came to an end, and the chance of a lifetime of death lies ahead. As long as you catch it, you can live. The blood boiled all over, and Ryatsu rolled, all gathered on the thick mask, his pupil power increased rapidly, and his strength continued to grow. Nelly, Barragan flashed through her mind. At this moment, Uchiha Madara seemed to wake up. It's this feeling, finally found. This laughter contained unprecedented excitement, as if a long sleeping lion finally awakened. The light shrouded, near the end, everything seemed to be over. The clear sky was cloudless, accompanied by a breeze, and warm sunlight poured over the earth. Advertisement This is the Soul Society, not only the place where many souls live, but also the world where Shinigami lives. Soul Society and Hueco Mundo have completely opposite styles. Not only do they have day and night, but they also have bustling streets and dense silhouettes. Of course, the huge Soul Society is also divided into two areas, Jingling Ting and Rukanga. Among them, the Jingling Garden is located in the center of Soul Society, where the nobles of this world and the unattainable Shinigami live. Rukanga has a wider range and is where most of the summoning souls live. As the name suggests, Jingling Court is even taller. In the eyes of countless souls, having the opportunity to step into the Jingling Garden will be the glory of a lifetime. As for being able to become Shinigami, it is an unimaginable dream. Soul Society and Ninja are somewhat similar. It is also a classical Japanese style, and it is also a unique building, and more importantly, the strict hierarchy. Ordinary souls generally choose to form a family with several other equally lonely souls, and will become a new family from then on. But, the souls living here also have differences in strengths and weaknesses and talents. If a soul has spiritual power, then there is a chance to become a Shinigami. Shinigami not only represents rights and status, but also power. To become a strong person in soul society, the first requirement is to become a Shinigami. As a life form with a very high concentration of spirits, Shinigami has abilities that exceed humans, and can also fight the imaginary. However, it is precisely because of the high concentration of spirits in the body that Shinigami is Su's favorite food at the same time. Shinigami shoulders the responsibility of defending mankind, guiding and purifying the void, returning it to the soul society, and maintaining the balance between the two worlds, so as to prevent the world from destabilizing and perishing. Most importantly, Shinigami is the master of soul society and has a unique right to speak. At this time, somewhere on the outskirts of Rukanga, the calm sky suddenly opened a huge gap. Stabbed. Even a black cavity can be easily seen through the space crack. Along with the majestic riots of storm, a dying figure flew out of the crack, and then fell to the ground embarrassingly. 
This figure has long black hair and is covered with purple armor. Advertisement Uchihamadara At this time Uchihamadara was unconscious and dying. It was a miracle to be able to survive from Jutu's hands. Well, Uchihamadara let out a muffled groan, and as soon as the heavily injured body moved, there was a crisp cracking sound. Card wipe? A small crack appeared in the center of the armor, followed by countless cracks, and with a bang, the entire armor was completely shattered and turned into a purple robe covering Uchihamadara's body. With his fingers moving, Uchihamadara finally regained consciousness with his tenacious will. He opened his eyes laboriously, only to find something exciting for him. The mask covering the face seems, shattered. The blood boiled, and the arm trembling unceasingly. When the palm of the hand touched the mask, he even took it off easily. Arankar. Through the light reflected on the mask, Uchihamadara saw a face deep into the soul, that was his own face. Finally got rid of the shackles. There was an inexplicable light in Uchihamadara's eyes, and there was a faint emotion of excitement. At this moment, the woods behind him suddenly heard two rapid footsteps, and two more childish voices. Yin, it's too remote here, let's go back quickly. Matsumoto, don't be afraid. I saw a figure falling from the sky just now, maybe someone was injured. The footsteps got closer and closer, and finally two figures appeared in front of Uchiha. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Advertisement Chapter 50 Ichimaru Jin, Matsumoto Rangiku Advertisement What caught Uchiha Madara's eyes was a teenager with short light purple hair. There are blue pupils in those thin eyes, plus the curvature of the corners of the mouth. The first impression of a teenager is like a sly fox, full of mystery everywhere, and people can't help but raise a guarded mentality. Beside the boy is a slightly young girl. Although young, the pair of white rabbits on their chests already have a certain curve. Obviously, when the girl grows up, she must be a beauty who is all over the country. Ichimaru Jin, Matsumoto Rangiku. The two have been childhood sweethearts, and they were born in this extremely poor place in Rukanga. The relationship is extraordinary, and it can even be said that they are dependent on each other. As an ordinary soul who was born ordinary and has no status. On weekdays, wandering around the suburbs of Rukanga is the greatest joy for the two of them. At the moment when the black tune appeared earlier, Ichimaru Jin happened to be nearby. As a genius, Ichimaru Jin has extremely keen perception. When Uchiha Madara's Ryatsu appeared, Ichimaru Jin immediately took Matsumoto Rangiku to this deserted area. Ever since, the two met Uchiha Madara by accident. Silver, be careful. Matsumoto Rangiku cautiously followed behind Ichimaru Jin, his bright eyes looked at Uchiha Madara tightly, for fear that he would do anything unusual. After all, it was a terrible thing to suddenly appear in this deserted area with a wounded man. Don't be afraid, Rangiku, he shouldn't be malicious. Ichimaru Jin squinted, although he was young, he had the courage to excel. He came to Uchiha Madara and asked, Are you okay? Advertisement Boy, is this soul society? Uchiha Madara stood up strenuously, the pain from the wound made his expression a little uncomfortable. After Arankar, Uchiha Madara's body changed drastically. The armor covering the whole body disappeared completely and turned into normal human skin. But this seemingly fragile skin has amazing hardness, as if covered with a layer of skin. Not only that, even Ryatsu in the body has undergone a qualitative change. As we all know, the virtual Ryatsu is completely different from Shinigami. It was violent and chaotic, and it was vaguely hostile, just like a wild beast. Therefore, Shinigami was able to sense the virtual Ryatsu in an instant. Shinigami's Ryatsu is different. Not only is it gentler and more stable, it is also easier to control. Therefore, Kido, Bakudo and other means were born. 
Although Uchiha Madara is a dummy, his Ryatsu completely metamorphosed after Arankar and became extremely stable. If it is not deliberately exposed, Ryatsu, who is similar to Soul Society, will not be any different. More importantly, even the pair of three Tomo Sherinan has changed. Although it has not evolved into Manjikyo Sherinan, it is able to use pupil power to perform self-hypnosis, thereby concealing its own breath in the subconscious, thus performing Ryatsu disguise. Of course, this kind of disguise is useless in front of the strongest. Soul Society? Of course, this is the poorest area in Rukanga. Ichimarujin's eyes squinted, his eyes seemingly random but there is a hint of vigilance hidden in them. He was very wary of the man who suddenly appeared in front of him. Soul Society. It seems that this is the hometown of Asido, which is really interesting. Advertisement. Uchiha Madara stood up and looked around with interest. When he saw the high sun, a touch of emotion emerged in his heart. Where there is darkness, there must be light. It seems that I haven't seen the light in a few months. Recalling the few months in Hueco Mundo, it was like living in a hell. Apart from endless killings, there is no other choice at all. If you do not abide by this forest law, the only thing waiting for you is death. The dark night, the bloody air, and the suffocating atmosphere. This is the impression that Hueco Mundo brings to Madara. After arriving at Soul Society, everything changed. The warm sunshine, the blue sky, the enchanting air, and even the kind soul. Stay away from the turmoil of killing, away from the bloody corrosion. At least on the surface, Soul Society is more like Ninja World before. Seeing that Ichimarujin is safe and sound, Matsumoto Rangiku also plucked up the courage to come to Uchiha Madara and asked in a low voice, are you Shinigami? Shinigami, how could I be that kind of thing? The corner of Uchiha Madara's mouth raised an inexplicable arc. Not only is he not a Shinigami, but he is also an illusion that is incompatible with Shinigami. Hey, it's weird, if it weren't for Shinigami, you would have this level of Ryatsu in your body. Advertisement Ichimarujin stared closely at Uchiha Madara, doubting his identity. This kind of Ryatsu. Suddenly, Ichimarujin's pupils shrank suddenly, as if recalling the thing that made him hate. At this moment, Matsumoto Rangiku broke the conversation between the two. Oh, your injury is too serious. Let's go to our house first. Matsumoto Rangiku has a pure girl heart, and Ishine wants to recover Uchiha Madara. Uchiha Madara looked at the two and fell silent for a moment. He could feel the familiar riot so fluctuations from the two. Even if it is very weak, this shows that the two have great potential. Coupled with the first time to Soul Society, after repeated consideration, Uchiha Madara agreed to Matsumoto Rangiku. Leaving the remote and secluded wilderness, Uchiha Madara followed Ichimarujin and Matsumoto Rangiku to Rukanga. The crowds of people on the spacious street, although not prosperous but a bit lively, compared to the barren and ruined Hueco Mundo, this place is already considered to be very popular. Along the way, Uchiha Madara is observing different souls. He discovered that not every soul possesses spiritual power, even if a girl soul possesses spiritual power, the degree of thinness can be ignored. After some comparison, Uchiha Madara discovered that Ichimarujin and Matsumoto Rangiku can be called geniuses. In the end, they crossed most of the street and came to a simple house, and this is the home of Ichimarujin and Matsumoto Rangiku. Thank you for reading this story at mtlnation.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running.